Good morning. Hey, hey, y'all. Hey. Y'all, um, I just feel like, um, the way the live went yesterday, it, it, it wasn't supposed to go like that. Um, when I went live, I forewarned my husband that I was going to go live. Um, but I didn't say like, I'm going live to say this. I was like, I'm just going to go live to get a POV. I just want to see how they feel about stuff, what they think about stuff, you know, stuff like that. And so, um, when I went live, I mean, he, he didn't say like, nah, if he would have been like, I don't think. You should go live. I think you should just, we should just talk about it or something like that. I wouldn't have went live. So I literally, um, because I didn't go, I wasn't going live with a negative mindset. I was going live to, for real, get y'all, um, I was going live to get y'all, you know, um, point of view on stuff. So then... When I did that, it was just more so uh, the way it transpired. It 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 was it was blown out of proportion. Like I I didn't expect it to get like that crazy. I didn't, and y'all a lot of y'all was like, "You should get off. Y'all should talk. Y'all should talk." But the whole point of me going live is because when I was trying to come like be cordial at home with the with without social media it wasn't working like it was being how it was when y'all seen last night so I just was like let me just go live and talk to my subscribers to see like what they feel because I know some of y'all on here married some of y'all got kids you know some of y'all on here or whatever and y'all been with me for a long time you know what i'm saying so y'all seen the ups and downs so it was like i didn't want to bring this to social media but my thing is let me just let me just clarify what i'm saying when it comes to social media i don't mind being on social media telling y'all what i go through but i didn't expect for it to transpire like that i didn't expect for it to be like you know um hostile like that because i was just like oh you know I thought he was going to be level-headed to where it's like, um, you know, if he do feel or disagree, he'll jump in and say something, but he wouldn't bring, you know, a lot of stuff up. I don't appreciate the fact that I did confide in him with personal things and he really hit below the belt. Like, I didn't expect him to say, this is why your ex-people or your ex used to hit on you. This is why other guys used to hit you because it is. Like, I didn't expect that. I feel like that was very, like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, I confided in you, and I trusted you, and you literally, like, hit below the belt. But then it's like, what about all the stuff I could say about you? And I didn't. The stuff y'all know that y'all heard yesterday, that was not nothing. That wasn't shit compared to the nitty gritty stuff. You know what I'm saying? And it's not for me to just be on here and be like him, 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 him. Because I take accountability as well. But when when you when I the whole part of the the whole point of this situation is I was trying to get it to where I don't want like if something was to happen to me or or anything, not just something happened to me, but if something was to go left, I still want to make sure that my husband is still settled. He's still 
able to maneuver. He's still able to get, you know, get shit going without having to feel like I got to wait on Diwana. I got to wait on her to bust a move or I got to wait on her to do something and then I can do something. I don't want him to feel like, oh, that's my wife, so I'm entitled. I want him to feel like, okay, we built this shit together so we can still capitalize off of it together. You know what I'm saying? And so that's my whole thing. I don't want to feel like, oh, my husband got to live check to check or it's a money thing or you make more than me or and it's a competition. It's not about competition. I've never I never been in competition with nobody I've been with, especially my husband. Like I'm not going to be in competition with you because I don't see you as a competition. I just don't. Like it's nothing that you got that I want. It's nothing that you like it's none of that. And I just feel like it went way left, bro. And I just feel like I, I I slept the best way I can. Um I figured I'm like, you know what, I'ma just get up, shower, do what I gotta do, and I'ma just go clear my mind because it, it it's a lot that I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, maneuver with. And you know, I'm not I'm not doing this live to ask D'Angelo to put me back as anything authorized. Like I feel like once you take me off, ain't no point in me getting back on. You took me off for a reason and it can stay like that. Like it's cool. It's okay. I'm not asking for that at all. I just I just feel like to have a, a to stay level headed and have a peace of mind is like that's important. Especially being at home. Like, I don't feel like, oh, do you want to go get a hotel? Go get a hotel so you can have a peace of mind and you can sleep. Like, I, I don't want to feel like that. The reason I get on live and talk to y'all is because if I had family that I was close to and that I talked to um, outside of when me and my husband is to it, then I would call them. I will call them, but I can't tell you that I talk to family because I don't talk to them. Because every time I talk to them, it's drama. It's drama. And then when I try to be the peacemaker, or I try to see both sides of the story. Is if I'm not choosing one side, then I'm, you know, what I'm saying like I don't like to be in the middle with that shit. So I, I just don't talk to nobody because it's more peaceful that way. I ain't gotta stress myself out. I ain't gotta cry because me and my mama don't see eye to eye. That and and, and for him to say. You mad because I can call your mama. You mad because you can call. He said, you mad because I can call my mama and you can't. That kind of like, was that like, well, damn, on what? Like, it's, it's, it's not. Okay, so if anybody else say it, that's fine. Because it's like, okay, whatever. But when your husband say it, somebody that you literally share your body with, you share your money with, you share every fucking thing with, that, that is what is a bother because it's like on one bro i literally give you like you literally see any and everything of me financially and everything and like you really just said fuck me yesterday publicly and it's like on what but all the stuff that i can say i'm like you did like you you don't think some stuff should have been like left unsaid And then it's like, when I tried to break the ice, I'm like, okay, do you love me? Stop talking to me, Diwana. And it's like, okay. But then if I don't, like, I don't know. No, he don't isolate me from my family. I just don't talk to them because whenever I do talk to them, it's always some drama or it's one-sided shit. And it's like, why wasn't I included? Or why didn't nobody call me and tell me? Or why I got to find out from this person, that person? Like, me, like, one thing about it, I think what bothers me is that he know how me and my mama is. And for him to use that against me, that that made me feel some type of way. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, instead of me poking the bear, I just left this morning. I left. Um, Duty was still sleeping. And um, I stayed on live. 
I stayed on live because I was talking to my subscribers to get a POV. Like I said, that live was not supposed to go like that yesterday. It was not. It was not supposed to be um you you say shit to me, I say shit to you. You you say something below the belt to me, I say something below the belt to you. And it's like it wasn't supposed to go like that. Half of that shit he was saying to me, I didn't expect that he was gonna say to me. And you're right, I could have logged off, but why log off and have to deal with it behind closed doors by myself and then it could have possibly got physical when I felt like being on YouTube or being on live was my outlet to talk to somebody. Because if I'm talking to somebody on the phone, that's one thing. But if I'm talking to a bunch of people with different POVs, that's another thing. That's how I looked at it. I didn't look at it as, oh, I'm trying to exploit my husband. Oh, I'm trying to dog him out publicly. I didn't look at it like that. Because I was not trying to do that. That's not what I, and I didn't do that. I was just asking y'all point of view on stuff because it's like, okay, I asked y'all questions in my community post. Y'all was telling me some stuff about what y'all dealt with personally. So I was going to do a video, but it's like, how can I do a video about something? Especially, I think somebody mentioned something about their marriage and how they marry, but they talking to somebody on the side. And it's like, how can you do something about a video? about a marriage and your marriage not really together in real life so that's being fake that's not authentic i can't give you good advice when i already know the vibe uh, the shit i'm dealing with ain't even you know what i'm saying like i can't do that so i felt like well let me ask y'all pov on stuff so i can see like how y'all will maneuver with the situation low was sitting right there on his game i didn't expect for him to rah 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 as time went past while i was on live because if he would have said once again if he would have said do you want to i don't think you should go live i really think you should just we should just talk about it off camera or whatever and we'll be good so then when we go back on youtube then we can't tell them like okay we did go through something like this but we this is how we overcame it if he would have did something like that i wouldn't have went live and asked y'all pov I would have just continued to talk it out with my husband and deal with it behind closed doors. But because he said, I don't care if you do that. I don't care if you go live. That's you. But for him to add on to the negative, and then when y'all was dogging me out saying, oh, Delari, you a psychopath. Oh, Delari, you, um, you a bully. That egged him on because he was like, yes, she is a bully. Yes, she is this. Yes, she don't do this. And then when I said, well, what good thing can you say? I don't got nothing good to say. How do y'all think that make me feel as a person, as a wife, as an individual, as a human? Like, how do y'all think that make me feel? Y'all, I I never once ever got on this camera and ever said, I take care of D'Angelo and I do any and everything for this man. No, I did not say that. No, I did not say. I never portrayed it that I take care of him. I never portrayed that. I never portrayed that he dropped everything and take care of me. I never portrayed that. When I, What I said is he don't pull the weight that I want him to have. He don't. He do what he want to do on his time. That's what I'm saying. So for people to say, oh, you should have you shouldn't have went live last night. Like I said, I went live, but the live wasn't supposed to go like that. It wasn't supposed to go left like that. It was not. So then when it did go left, it's like, okay, well, let them just see the real. Why not? Why not? You already done dog me out, or you, I wouldn't say dog me out, but you already said what you felt. And and I wouldn't say that that's okay, but he was not the first person that said something about me, and then y'all found out the truth, and y'all still went with that person. Y'all gonna go with whatever makes sense to y'all, and whatever y'all feel is right, especially if y'all don't like me. Y'all really gonna be like, okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. So then I mentioned counseling. 
I don't need to go to counseling. I'm not going to counseling. Okay, well, I'll go. I'll go. It's fine. That way, if I know it's me, I know. I just think when it's all said and done, it's, it's toxic to deal with an individual who don't know how to keep their composure when it's a heated situation. You want to yell, you want to do this, you want to do that, and that's fine. But I feel like that's mean, that's not, I can't talk to you. I can only talk to you if, I can only talk to you if, it's through a text message or we're over the phone. Because in person, if you get heat, but, but then even when we on the phone, if he get mad, he hang up. And then before, not I don't do it now, but before I would call him back to back to back to back to back, texting him, like be going north, saying, can you call me? Can you call me? Can you call me? I don't do that no more because it's like I'm not finna sit up here and keep begging you to be like the person that you said you was in the beginning. You not. Okay, and that's fine. You don't got to support me. Bye. Right. I am definitely going to go to counseling because I need to make sure, like, and not just to make sure, just to heal from stuff that I have to deal with. But I just know that when it's all said and done, I don't, I can't tell y'all if I'm a vent to him about how I feel because I don't want that to be used as a quote unquote reminder. I don't, I don't want that. I, I feel like I don't need for somebody that I'm with to remind me of my past and my trauma that I dealt with or I have to deal with. I don't want that because I don't remind him of shit that he be dealing with. I don't remind him of his kids in that situation. I don't remind him of his dad in that situation. I don't remind him of none of that. I literally don't poke the bear when it comes to that low of a belt because it's like that's that's that that's hurtful. I know if it hurt me, I know regardless of if he a man or not, that hurt that's hurtful. You don't do that to nobody you care about. You know what I'm saying? And it's not, oh, you're going to lose subscribers. Oh, you're going to do this. Great. Great. I Guess what? I don't lost subscribers. I didn't gain subscribers. But one thing I don't want is for somebody to be like, I, did, I, I, I pushed you to get 35K. It was because of me. You kept quitting. You think I want to hear that from somebody you supposed to be with? You, po- you married to this person. You think that's supposed to make you feel good? But then yesterday, you tell me your LLC wasn't done legally. We could have handled that off camera. You could have told me that a long time ago, and I would have never mentioned it. It just didn't make sense to me. If you had one and I got one, why we can't see what's with yours, add on to yours, capitalize off yours. You wanted to do music. So when I started doing music on my channel, what what y'all seen on my channel? Y'all seen D'Angelo's music by himself, right? With somebody else, right? So don't don't make it seem like I didn't get on here not supporting him. Like I just don't care about him. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true at all. Because even to this day, that music is still up there. Unless YouTube took it down or whatever, that you that music is still up there. And it, it and, and, and it's crazy because people be like, oh, you shouldn't put this on YouTube. You shouldn't say this. He's your husband. He's this. He's this. Okay, but he's my husband, but I'm his wife, but it's okay for him to hit below the bill. That's what y'all telling me? Chrissy, that's what you telling me? You write the internet, don't forget. Y'all seen me go through a lot of shit. So, but that's what y'all saying? I'm not trying to always be right. I'm not trying to always be Miss Goody Two Shoes. I'm not saying that. I'm saying I accept my flaws. I know what I do wrong. I know what I do right. I, at the end of the day, I know that if it's all sending down for motherfucking need, do you wanna? Guess what? And if I got it, I'ma definitely give it to you. 
and I'll figure out how to, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to put myself in a bind giving it to you, but I have before, and he knows that. But just like he said, if you needed something, why you didn't come to me? I didn't come to you, honey, because I know that if I would have came to you, you was going to tell me I got to wait until you get paid. So why would I come to you if I got to wait? No, I needed it now. I couldn't wait. That's why. So instead of humiliating my husband and laughing at the fact that he ain't really got it like that, I just do what I got to do. What's wrong with that? No, they not enabling me, D'Angelo. No, they're not. I'm literally telling them that yesterday's lie was not supposed to go that way. And it's funny that you woke and you can say something to me on live, but you can't text and call my phone. That's funny. You're not blocked. None of that. I understand what you're doing, but at the same time, what I'm saying is you acting like I got on here and started back up the stuff. No, I, I, if you look back at the replay, I said, no, you're not the bad guy. I'm making it make sense. I said, I got on live yesterday. That live was not supposed to go like that. It wasn't. I don't provoke you and then I play victim. No, I don't. I, I didn't expect you to rage, to rage in that way. I was asking you questions just like I'm calm now. I was being calm at the house. I was being calm before. What triggered me yesterday is when you disrespected me and you asked me what the fuck I've been looking at and you called me a bitch. That's what triggered me. And instead of me reacting while I was at work, I waited till I got off and I asked you, can you go in the living room? I asked you to go in the living room so that way I can go live by myself in the room. You told me no. You told me no m numerous of times. I said, okay, well, I'm finna go live. You, I told you that. I told you that. So I'm not trying to make you look like the bad guy. But you, you, I disrespected you because you called me, because you slammed the door on me in my face. That's disrespectful. Why you just couldn't do what I asked you to do? I didn't tell you. I asked you. I asked you. I'm not saying, I'm not asking nobody, I'm not asking nobody to enable nothing you want to got going on. Nothing. Because if the person that I literally share everything with can hit below the belt, anything anybody else say, it don't even matter. It don't matter. All I said was, I didn't expect for the live to go like that yesterday. And I also said that when it's all said and done, I didn't expect you to bring up what I shared with you personally. And I didn't expect for you to throw it back at me as a reminder publicly d'angelo i didn't expect that because it's a lot that you don't share with me and i never said nothing publicly to nobody because that's not me to do that to hurt you at all i don't do that shit i don't do that and you make it seem like you helped me get to where i'm at i never discredited you either i never did that but when you try to make it seem like I'm you the reason I'm at 35K or you the reason I'm this or that, D'Angelo, it took both of us. But I I took the initiative. Granted, yes, we were supposed to start YouTube together. You're right. But I, Diwana, took the initiative to start a channel with or without you. Because when we got back in contact, I told you, well, I'm doing YouTube. You wanted me to move to Georgia. I was not going to go to Georgia. I was already too established here. So why would I leave to go to Georgia? What did I put you through? 
Because everything that I did, I, I told them in story times. I told them the worst thing I ever put you through was with Daisy, with the money situation. What else did I put you through? When it came to my dad's situation, you didn't have to deal with that. So what did I put you through? You're right. You said we got that. But my thing is this. You said I helped you get 35K. Below, let's be honest. I always wanted you to do your own thing too. So that way it don't be a, you help me. You did everything. I, 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 I always wanted you to do your own thing regardless of me. You always supposed to cover your own ass regardless of who you with. And I always told you that. But you looking at it as I'm trying to be your mama. I'm not trying to be your mama. I'm trying to make sure my, my husband um, is good regardless of if things was to work out with us or not. Regardless of if I'm here living or not, I'm trying to make sure that my husband don't got to live check to check. I'm trying to make sure that my husband is that nigga, regardless of who. I'm trying to make sure of that. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to make sure my husband, I, I can be like, yeah, that's my husband. And I know that if something was to happen, I know he going to make sure that we good. Ain't no we in this if you can't even do it individually you got to do it individually by yourself and then that's when we come together what low blows did i do d'angelo what low blows i don't worry about trying to please people i definitely don't i used to I used to worry about that. I never, what do you mean brag on you? And my thing is this, I don't mind coming back home, but if it's going to be how it was yesterday, I'm not coming back there. I'd rather just stay out until I, I, I feel like, okay, I can go back home. But I know once I go back home, it's not going to be a, hey, you want to go out to eat or, hey, you want to go shopping for Kanai or, hey, you want to just do something. It's going to be, I don't want to do it or it's going to be awkward or you're going to be on your phone or I'm going to be on my phone. It's like it's not going to be like authentic. I don't want to be like, I got to be quiet. Or I, if I say something, it's Diwana. You still going back and forth, Diwana. And it's crazy. Like, people on here, they like, people got thinking I'm on here again to talk bad. No, I'm not at all. I don't even talk bad about you. I don't want to be uncomfortable in my own house. So I left. Why would I go spend money and get a hotel? Why would I go in the living room? You're still there. Why would I just why would I just stay in the house and then it could be animosity, tension? Why? So to avoid it, I left. And that's the thing. People quick to say, go home and put him out. Why would I do that? Then that's something he want me to do. That's something y'all want me to do. Put him out. Where he gonna go? Where he gonna go? He don't got nobody here. He told y'all that last night. He don't got no family here. He don't know nobody here. So where he gonna go? I never said I'm putting him out. I never said that. I left. I left for peace, for a clear mind, 
I left. Did I expect D'Angelo to get on here and start talking? No. If anything, I expected D'Angelo to call me when he woke up. To text me when he woke up. He get on... And that's his, and that's the thing. You can't put me out any. I never, and that's the thing, D'Angelo. I never fucking said I'm putting you out. I said they want me to say you could get out. You go. That, what? That's that's the thing. Like, is is I don't think this is really going to work for real, because it's like it's not going to be a situation where he know how to be an adult and a man to really talk to me to be like, okay, Diwana, this, this, and this, not. You telling me and disrespecting me and trying to tell me what to do. Like, you really being, like, a man and being like, listen, this is how it's going to go. This is what we need to do. You trying to talk to me like I'm a little-ass kid. I'm not entertaining nothing. I got on live. To go to let them know, like it was not supposed to go like that. It was not. I didn't expect you to throw up everything I ever expressed to you um, privately. I did not. I did not expect for you to get loud and obnoxious. I did not. I'm not making you the bad guy, but I did not fucking expect you to do that, D'Angelo. I did not expect that. And it's crazy because it's like, okay, if I didn't want to do YouTube no more, your first thing is I'm not supporting you no more. So what about if I want to go to school? You're not supporting that? That's not fair. Tori, be quiet. Because, like I said, if I can go home and talk to him and be civil and cordial, I will. But we can't obviously have a conversation. We can't. Don't y'all think if I would have had family, I would have been at their house? When did I have not said nothing to you until you got on live right now, D'Angelo? Last night after I got off live, you know, you know that I didn't say nothing to you. You didn't say nothing to me. When you told me, when I was like, Do you love me? You were like, Leave me alone, Diwana. I asked you uh, numerous of times, Leave me alone, Diwana. I don't want to talk about it, Diwana. I left it alone and I turned over the other way and I went to, I was watching TikTok and I fell asleep. I got up this morning, I got in the shower. And I left. What did I say to you? What did I do wrong? Then you get on YouTube and you say I'm entertaining stuff. No, I'm telling them. I did not expect life to go like that yesterday. That was not how it's supposed to go. I wasn't bashing you. I wasn't making you look bad. I didn't do what you did to me yesterday. I was just being honest. That's all. I didn't say nothing to you yesterday after I got off live. What do you mean short-term memory? From, from last night at 1 in the morning till now, I didn't say nothing to you. What are you talking about? Short-term memory. I didn't even say nothing to you. I didn't say I couldn't take it, D'Angelo. That's not what I said. But you want me to take what you say about what I've been through that I share with you and you want me to just be like, okay, he said it, but that's okay. But if I say something about your kids or your baby mamas in y'all situation, or if I say something about you and your dad's situation or you and your past situation, I'm wrong. And then you ready to fight. 
how that how that work? So if you say something about what I what I've been through, and I and I would have grabbed the knife or some, or I would have or I would have did something disrespectful to you, I, I would have been wrong, right? That's what I'm saying. You you pick and choose how you feel, and I feel like when a motherfucker mad at you and they say what they feel, they really feel like that. That's what I'm saying. And what you said to me, you really felt like that. I'm a bully. I'm negative. I'm all that. You really felt like that. You've been feeling like that. And then for some, 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 some um, kids to be on here and saying, D, you a bully. You this, you that. You agreeing. I said, name, name one good thing about me. I don't got nothing good to say. Okay. You don't got nothing good to say about me. So why am we? Why is we married then? Why am I your wife? Why are you putting me on this pedestal? Why? 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 You don't got nothing good to say about me. Why? Why are you with me then? Why are you with me if you don't got nothing good to say about me? You don't be with somebody that's bad business. You, uh, according to you, I'm bad for business. I know he's in the chat. I'm talking to him. On the chat. And that's the thing. I'm not even mad. I'm not even upset. I'm not even. I'm not. I'm just more so. Getting on here. Talking to. Live saying. You. Uh, live wasn't supposed to go like that yesterday. That's all I'm saying. What's wrong with me expressing myself? So I'm supposed to keep it all bottled in. So then if I react in a way where I lose everything or if I react in a way where I regret something, I'm, it's, it's now, oh, she crazy. She should have been able to talk to somebody. She should have been able to find her outlet. But then when I do find me an outlet, it's like, damn, if I do, damn, if I don't. What the fuck do y'all want? And then that's why I have a temptation of I don't want to know if I, I don't know if I want to do YouTube. Then I want to do YouTube. I don't know if I want to do YouTube. Then I want to do YouTube. It's because it's like, Damn if you do, damn if you don't. The internet is evil as a bitch. And then when you get with people and they and they put you in a situation where you got to really stand up for yourself, it's like, damn. I do respect your boundaries. I don't lie on you. And I keep telling you that. And I told you we can call the person right now and we can talk to them cordially, mutually on the phone. And I can say what I said because I didn't lie. You going to believe what you want to believe because I didn't lie. Just like with your granny, since we want to bring stuff up, you told her half-ass stories and she called me asking me what happened. When I told her this, my side of the story, she said, it makes sense. You didn't tell her everything. You you took bits and pieces out, D'Angelo. I do respect your boundaries. That's why I left the house. I respect you. I left. I left. What, you, what more you want me to do? Motherfucker want to, then when you get into a toxic relationship or marriage, a motherfucker unalive they self, then it should have, could have, would have. Like, y'all don't think about shit like that. It's more so a, well, she a bully. She did. Like, poke the fucking bear. But then you, you put out, you, you say shit that literally, I literally trusted you with. And you say that shit on a public motherfucking platform where people literally Long for drama, urge for drama, Delarian drama. Yes, this bitch down bad. Yes, and you being my husband, anything negative you say, they gonna take that shit and run with it. But did I ever get on this camera? Let me ask y'all something. Did I ever get on this camera and say something bad about D'Angelo since we've been together? Did I? I I, I want to know. I need to know. Did I ever do that? Did I ever do that? 
If I did, I'm going to tell y'all. Did I ever get on here? Not not before these lives, but have I ever got on here and said anything bad that me and D'Angelo ever did or that he ever did to me? I stood my motherfucking ground. I, I accepted the shit he told me. I, 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 I took accountability for that. But did I ever get on here and say anything bad about D'Angelo? I got a lot to say bad about you. I could say a lot about you. But why, what, what would that make me, D'Angelo? What good would that make me? If I say something bad about the person that I'm with and I'm married to, what the fuck? What? What? How am I winning off of that? That's that's me selling myself short. How am I winning? I still got to live with you. Now I got a whole fucking child with you. How am I winning, bro? I'm not winning from that. I don't got nothing bad to say about you. It's a lot I could say about you, honey. I just choose not to because I care. I care. So I'm not finna sit up here and sell myself short like that. But you, on the other hand, you say a lot bad about me publicly since yesterday. And I didn't expect that shit, bro. And all I'm saying is, just like you want me to respect you, I want you to respect me too. That's all I'm saying. Like, don't be telling motherfuckers on fucking uh, social media about my personal shit. Do I say that to you? Do I do that to you? Do I get on here after we done got into it or something ain't good and or we can, we or something ain't good with us? Do I get on here and be like, well, shit, let me tell y'all what me and Lo just went through. I don't do that. When you was going through your shit at work, did I get on this motherfucker and say, man, Lo done told me this, that, and the third? No, nah, I don't do shit like that because that's not going to make, no, I didn't see. I think you're really trying to pull, push me because you told me some expose me then since I'm the worst. That's not what I said. That D'Angelo, you want me to think of the worst of you. Because you think the worst of me. You want me to really just dog you out so you can have a reason to retaliate against me. Let me tell y'all something. When we first got into it the first time when his sister was out here, D'Angelo sent me an email and he told me, I'm going to get you for alimony with your cheap ass. That right there stuck with me to this fucking day. Why? Because I felt like he was after me for fucking money. That stuck with me. And do y'all know how the fuck I felt? Damn. He want he just want me for money. I never told y'all that. No, you said I was cheating. You said I'm gonna get you, I, I'm gonna take you to court. I'm gonna get you for alimony with your cheap ass. That's what you told me. When I stopped answering the phone for you and I blocked you and you emailed me. That's what you said, honey. Don't do that. I never got on this platform, D'Angelo, and exploited you, man. I never did that, bro. Even when you did put me through stuff, even when I did go through stuff at the other house with you, I never in my life got on this platform, and anybody can ever say I never did that. You never asked me for a dime. You never asked me for a dime, baby. But when you first moved out here, your insurance, your phone bill, your car note, that needed to be paid. Otherwise, it was going to get cut off. So what I do? Okay, well, babe, let's go half on stuff. Let's um merge into stuff. I have my own car note and phone or my own insurance and stuff. Let's merge it so that way you don't got to worry about it. And then when you get a job, then we can go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, split that shit down the middle. That's a real woman. That's how you're supposed to do it. You ain't supposed to leave your nigga out here bad. That's how you're supposed to do it. You don't supposed to leave your nigga out here bad trying to figure out where he going to get his next dollar from. You don't do that. You can't never say I had you out here bad. Since you been in Texas. You, ain't, you can't never say that. I ain't had you out here bad. You getting me mixed up with the persons you was the people you was with. They had you out here bad, not Diwana. 
Don't do that. It's a lot I could say, but why would I do that? What is that going to do for me, D'Angelo? What's that going to do for me? I feel like if you was going if you felt this way about me, you really should have we really should have reconsidered Kanai. I'm just going to be honest, and I'm not even mad about the situation. I'm being honest, bro. Like I'm being serious and I put this on both of my fucking kids. We should have reconsidered this shit. If you knew that I wasn't this type of person for you and you knew that I was all of this and negative and all of this stuff and you ain't got nothing good to say about me, my nigga, you should have lived, you should never impregnated me. We should have really considered, reconsidered this shit. And I wouldn't have to worry about, damn, now I'm stuck with this motherfucker for the rest of my life because I got a baby with him. Even if we not together, even if we not married, I still got to deal with this motherfucker because I'm not a bitter baby mama who gonna keep you away from your motherfucking child. Because I'm going to do what I got to do, regardless of if you do for her or you don't. Regardless if we married or if we not. Because I'm going to stand my grounds. But one thing I'm not going to do, I, I, I really feel like if you really felt this way about me, bro, we really shouldn't have been having a baby together. And I put that on everything I love and I'm not regretting what I said. I mean that shit. Because I don't just, you don't just have kids for, with any fucking body. That's why I haven't had a child in 11 years. Because I don't play them type of games with people. I just don't do stupid shit. I don't. I'm not delusional. You just don't say certain shit. You just don't do certain shit. But here I go, and you telling me I don't got you don't got nothing good to say. What good do you have to say about me, D'Angelo? What good you got to say about me? Now, if a motherfucker was out here bad, still fucking around and doing what I want to do and still having you on my channel just doing some shit to benefit because I know couples channel can really make some money. If if I was that bad, if I was on some bullshit like that, then yeah, tell me, tell me I'm fucking you over. Tell me I'm wrong. But a motherfucker really took everything that I ever learned from YouTube and I and I showed you, I told you how it was. You took what I told you and you added on to that because you did your research and that's how we was able to gain another 700, 800,000, um, 800 subscribers to make 35,000. That's how. I never took nothing from you. I never got on this motherfucker and dragged you. I never got on here and said, oh, D'Angelo this. D'Angelo did me like this. D'Angelo did me like that. I'm going through this. I sucked that shit up like a real ass woman. And I did what I have to do because I, I already know, regardless of if the camera on or not, I still got to make sure Bill's taken care of. I, if I seem wrong, I would tell you. Don't make it seem like I'm. No, I'm not dragging you. I'm telling you, I never got on this platform and dragged you. I'm telling you that I never got on here and said, oh, I'm using you for the benefits of me. I never got on here and said that. But you, on the other hand, you get on this motherfucking, you drag Dewana, LaShawn, Danielle, Laurie. Yeah, my last name, Tony, but I'm always a Laurie, my nigga, regardless of what. Legally, Tony. Okay. No, I if it's if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but don't make it seem like I'm dragging you on this platform. Because it's a lot I could say. Why would I do that, D'Angelo? What the fuck am I going to gain from that, bro? Yeah, a bunch of viewers. Okay. Yeah, you might gain some money from it, but all money ain't good money when you're trying to put down a motherfucker you with that you got to deal with every day. All money ain't good money. You and I both know that. Ain't no sellout. Why would I do that? Now, I, I'm not dragging you. I'm not dragging you.
It's okay for you to hit below the belt and say how niggas, this is why niggas beat your ass and all this shit. But then when I speak on what what the reality is shit, now I'm dragging you. Man, stop trying to manipulate me and make that shit make sense. I'm not dragging you. I'm being honest. I'm speaking facts. Because motherfuckers think I'm getting on this platform and I'm dragging you and I'm talking about you and I'm downing you as a man. I'm not doing that. I'm making this shit make sense. I got on this motherfucker today and I said, that live was not supposed to go like that yesterday. I didn't know you was finna dog me and, and, and bring me down like that yesterday. I didn't know you ain't gonna have nothing good to say about me and I'm married to you. And it's been two motherfucking years. Because if that's the case, we don't need to have a child together. We don't need to continue to be together. We need to separate. We need to go our separate ways. That's what I'm saying. If a motherfucker really feel like that, D'Angelo, you can, I can leave or you can leave. It's not a big deal. Our lease is about to be up in January. It's not a big deal about being separated. Am I finna be bitter? No, but I'm not, I'm not finna keep dealing with you and I got to deal with this behind it. That's not what I want. That's not marriage. That's not happy. That's not being successful. That's not being peaceful. That's not being, oh yeah, I, I, I love my husband. No, that's not that. That's being toxic that's just settling for a motherfucker because you don't want to be by yourself that's what the fuck that is motherfucker i done moved to new york by myself i done moved to texas i done moved to indiana with no motherfucking family so don't sit up here and tell me like i'm just trying to drag you and trying to benefit for because you my husband and i'm trying to make it seem like you just like come on bro come on bro come on bro just come on like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. I'll never get on this motherfucking dog you out. Never. Ever have. Ever. But you not seeing that what you said about me last night ain't wrong. It's the truth. So you telling me I need to shut the fuck up and suck it up because that's the truth. Face it. Deal with it. Damn. That's harsh as a motherfucker. No, I don't want to be with nobody like that. Hell no. Nah. No. Because a motherfucker like you want to see me at my worst. That's why niggas put their motherfucking hands on you because your mouth. Damn. So why bitches had you in situations that y'all was in? Living hotel to hotel. Why y'all was in that situation? Because you were her. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Stop playing with me and stop trying to de um degrade me. Stop trying to disrespect me. You did uplift me, but then every time you uplift me, you tore me back down in the same breath, dude. You tore me back down, bro. No, motherfuckers ain't toxic like me. Because unlike, unlike the bitches you was with, I got my own, D'Angelo. Ain't how you out here bad, my nigga. I keep telling you that. Ain't, ain't make you fun for your motherfucking self. I made sure you had it and your motherfucking kids had it. If you want to get technical, I made sure that. With no motherfucking handout. With no motherfucking uh, PPP loan. We're not doing anything illegal, my nigga. Stop playing with me. Like I'm not it. I worked hard to get where the fuck am I not, where I'm at. And I'll be damned if I let a nigga try to take me off my square, bro. You might have added on to what I got, but you ain't helped me get this shit. Anything that I ever motherfucking got besides furniture, my nigga, you ain't never helped me from the bottom. And that's what I was trying to explain to you. Let's do shit from the bottom and build on that shit. That's how you make a solid foundation, my nigga. You can add on to your wife. I can add on to you. But let's build some shit by ourselves. That's the legacy for your kids. That's the shit you need. Not adding on to what I did. And then you saying, we, 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 we. No. That ain't how you do it, honey. And I'm trying to explain that to you. That's not how you do it, baby boy. No. That's like me. Okay, let's reverse it, y'all. Let's reverse it. Now, I'm D'Angelo. And he me. We link back up. 
I'm in a situation, she in a situation, or he in a situation, shit toxic, shit toxic, but we we know how to be cordial to an extent. So instead of me saying move to Texas, he tell me to move to Georgia. Boom, I go to Georgia. I don't got, you know what I'm saying? I don't got no job no more because the job I did have, I left it. I was on the probation, whatever the case is. I ain't got the job no more. Okay, boom. So now I, I, I need a little push. But I need you to look over me while I get my shit together, bro. I need you to hold me down. Okay, I got you. But then you got your business going. So instead of me saying, well, this was my dream. This was my business. I'm going to do my shit too. You say, let's do your shit. I'm hesitate, but then when I don't want to do it, you say you sold me a dream. That was my shit though. How I sell you a dream? You told people. Let let me let me put this back into the perspective of me and you now, honey. You told people when you left Georgia that we was doing YouTube. Oh yeah, we doing YouTube together. We finna go big. We finna go big. You told them people that. Yo, ex bitch people. You told them people that. So when you got to Texas and you seen that it wasn't what you thought it was, you said out your mouth, you sold me a dream, Diwana. And I said, I ain't sell you no dream. I ain't sell you no dream. I showed you how you two couples can make money. I asked you. That's why you was a crush. That's why your face wasn't on there at first. Because I was still trying to figure out if I even wanted to go through this. When you told me I sold you a dream, that was bad business. That was a bad taste in my mouth because I didn't sell you a dream. Where I fucked up at is showing you my hand. I showed you my hand too fast. I showed you it too fast. And I should have kept that shit to myself until I you showed me action-wise that you was ready to really be a stand-up guy to be with me, not for what you can and not for what I have or what I brought to you, but what you can do for me plus more. That's where I fucked up at. Where I also fucked up at is telling you, oh, Duty got his account. Can I got his this account? I messed up doing that too because now when it comes down to it is take it out of his account. By the time my son gets 16, if I keep taking out of his account, he ain't gonna have shit. If I keep taking out of my account, she ain't gonna have nothing. I'm a mama. Why not take care of my babies? I never said you didn't support me, but you supported me in the same breath as you tried to take from me. You wanted me to get grants and shit. Why you ain't got it? You got a business thing. Why you ain't got it? Oh, it wasn't done legally. But D'Angelo, had you told me that shit off camera, my nigga, we wouldn't even be talking about it. Don't make it seem like you did your own shit, but then in reality, you can't even tell me who the fuck did it for you. And then I don't even know if that shit is legit. You got it registered. Don't say, don't, but don't talk business with me if you don't know business for real. Because I obviously don't know about it. But you telling me to do grants and shit. You doing something fine. Then you want me, to, then I talk to a realtor. I'm asking you your input. Even though you're not going on the house, I'm still asking you your input. Okay? I'm asking you your input. Right? Because you my husband. I respect you. Am I right? Okay. I'm asking you your input. And you said, well, I think business-wise, we should live in it for a year. Then we rent it out and we rent somewhere that way. That can pay our rent. And we can capitalize off the off the um YouTube and everything else. How? A four-bedroom house, $2,300 with a $2,300 for rent, $1,600 to the mortgage man. That means if something happened to the motherfucking house, that means if a plunger man got to come out, we got to still be responsible for that shit. Plus our own other house. That wasn't a business move to me. That was stupid. I'm not putting my whole credit, whole income on a house that I want to build for memories for my children. So when I leave this earth, they, they, that's their house. I want to build that type of legacy so I don't have to worry about, oh, shit, that, I rented the house out. Now we got to fix this because they done, they done trashed the whole house. That's more work on us. 
You're supposed to make it easier. You're supposed to work smarter, not harder, low. You're right. Everything you did say was a suggestion, but babe, that wasn't the right one. That wasn't it. I'm not lying. On you. you said last night the same thing. Last night. You said that. That didn't make sense what you just said. When we were just talking, you taking is literally. I don't know what that means. Talk English. I mean, I'm sorry. Babe, can you talk regular? It's like he want me to be a weak ass bitch for him. Like, oh baby, I just feel like like dude, come on. I'm 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 too strong minded for that. I'm not gonna let a nigga finesse me. Motherfuckers done tried to play with me. Motherfuckers done got over on me. Why would I do that? I'm not doing that. I don't want to do that. I feel like as my husband, you shouldn't try to look at it as a competition. I never looked at this man as a competition. Why you got to throw Goofy in it? You see what I'm saying? You do stuff, you you try to say stuff to me to make me feel less than a woman or less than a person overall. That's why you do that. You try to throw in side subliminal shit to make me feel less than. And that's crazy because even when I'm t calling you low or when even when I'm talking to you, you, you literally, like, that's not good enough. You want me to throw baby in there or babe, honey or something like that. Like you really want me, you like, I, I don't get it. Like you can't even talk to me with respect, folks. Do I call you that? Do I talk to you like that? I'm lying on you, babe. How? How I'm lying, love? Because I never lied on you. How I lie on you? I don't want you to do none of that. Did I say that? D'Angelo, I got a question. Do you really, really want to be married? Do you really want to be married to me? I'm asking you publicly because you embarrassed me publicly. You disrespected me last night publicly. So publicly, let's be honest. Do you really want to be with me? Because if not, I can start making arrangements. And we ain't even got to be bitter. This ain't even got to be a messy, sticky situation. But it, it can relieve a lot of bullshit. Do you really want to continue this marriage or not, D'Angelo? And I'm being honest. Do you? I'm not. Like, I, I, I just want to know. Like, do you want to continue being married? Do you want to continue being married, D'Angelo? Answer the question that I'm asking you. Do you want to continue being married? And that's the thing. I don't hit on this man. I don't do none of that. Do you want to continue be Answer the question at hand, low. Because my thing is, you don't got nothing good to say about me. So do you want to continue being married? The people want to know. I'm asking you a question. 
What do you, how you want me to say it? I, I mentioned a counselor. He said he don't want to go back to be um, doing marriage counseling. I did have intentions on fixing things. So I'm asking you, do you still want to continue a marriage? You you going around everything I'm asking you. That's not what the fuck I'm asking you. Answer the question. He didn't answer it. You're right, the internet don't validate nothing. That's why I'm asking him, do he still want to be married? That's what I'm doing. He keep going around what I'm doing, what I did yesterday and coming on today and all this. Mind y'all, he didn't say shit to me last night. So I have to sleep with this shit. I have to suck it up on top of what y'all was saying. I have to deal with it. I ate it up. I have to deal with it. Face reality, right? It's the truth, right? Okay. Okay. I'm delusional. I'm a bully. Okay, I take that. Okay. Does that mean that that's true? No. That's an opinion that he has. So I'm asking him publicly, since we talking about it public, publicly, do you still want to continue with marriage? That's what I'm saying. I'm being serious. This is not a joke. This is serious. Damn, that's all I'm saying. Do you want to continue being married? Because if you don't, we don't have to continue. If you do, then maybe, yeah, I will come home and we can talk about it. But if you're not saying nothing to me, no, nah, I'm not going to be coming home. And then it's a whole nother No, nah, I'm not going to do that, bro. I'd rather stay out and just clear my mind, bro. I don't want to deal with drama if I don't have to. I'm trying to avoid it. If I wanted to be in drama, I'd still be at the house. Damn, I'm trying to literally start on a fresh slate. You can't even answer the question. Do you still want to be married? I'm toxic. Okay, so if I'm toxic, is that a yes or a no? Yeah, I'm toxic. I'm a bully. I'm delusional. I'm negative. I always want drama. Nothing. I can't never do good in nothing. Or I, I can never be satisfied. I'm ungrateful. It's a lot of stuff he done said within the last 24 hours. So, I mean, I just want to know for real. That's it. That's it. I'm not asking you to... Like, I'm not asking you to do none of that shit. I did keep it behind closed doors. And it wasn't going nowhere. Like, shut up talking to me. I did keep this shit behind closed doors. Like I said, it's a lot of shit y'all still don't know. Get the fuck on somewhere. Motherfuckers not finna keep by bypassing what the fuck y'all saying. Shut up talking to me. Y'all don't gotta watch my fucking live. 
Y'all don't have to. Y'all don't got to be subscribed to D. Laurie. Y'all ain't got to be subscribed to shit that got I'm affiliated with. Nothing. Shit. I'm asking you, low. I said, do you still want to be married? Where is you getting all this stuff up, down talking me? No, we not arguing. I'm asking him a simple question. But I'm not going to keep letting y'all feel like y'all got some type of, um, y'all can say what y'all want to say, and I'm supposed to just shut up. Like, I deal with a lot of shit behind closed doors. So when I bring it to, and I didn't bring my, I didn't bring this to the media. I I was talking general, and st- I'll ask a general statement of a POV of how y'all will handle things. And if he wouldn't have said stuff in the background, y'all wouldn't have known half of the shit. That's not even half, bro. Like, and this is why people be like, oh, I'm going to unalive myself. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Because mental health, motherfuckers just keep poking a fucking bear. Motherfuckers don't really see that they trying. They, they got to deal with shit on the outside. They, they deal with shit. But then when they don't have support from the people that they want support from outside of their spouse, they don't see that that bothers them. Why wouldn't I want a relationship with my people? Because if a nigga act like this, I know I still got my people to run back to. I know I still got my people in my motherfucking corner. But then when you ain't got your people or your spouse, that shit is a different feeling, my nigga. Now all you got is your two kids and a bunch of so, uh, subscribers. Who can give two fucks if you on here or two fucks if you not. Like, come on, bro. Y'all got to pick a side, my nigga. Y'all don't understand. Y'all not trying to see it from my point. Y'all trying to see it just, I'm, I'm trying to be the man and the woman in a relationship. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. Y'all see me go through shit with people in the past. That's because people put me on here first. Trying to exploit me first. And then instead of me talking to them off camera, motherfuckers want to get a bag off of it. But then when I speak on how I feel... It's an it's a issue. I'm not doing this shit for no fucking money. I'm not doing this shit for no fucking views. I'm doing this shit for reality of things. Because guess what? Outside of YouTube, YouTube don't pay my bills. I got a whole job full time that I, can, that I work at every fucking day that pays my bills. That's what pay my bills. Not YouTube. YouTube used to pay my bills. Yeah, when I would get on here and act an ass. When I would get on here and, and, and embarrass myself. When I would get on here and sell myself short. For the next motherfucker, yeah, YouTube will pay my bills because I'm being ignorant, because I'm selling myself short, because I'm doing shit that I don't normally do on when, when the camera's off. So, yeah, YouTube was paying my bills. But then when you sit down and reality sink in and you realize that motherfuckers that really wanted you out here bad ain't really there for you in real life, that shit hit different, bro. That's a different fucking feeling. Then I grow a bond with my dad just for him to go on back on bullshit. Like, get the fuck on somewhere, but then I'm wrong. But then when motherfuckers need something, it's who they calling. Dewana. 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 Every fucking time, and D'Angelo can vouch for that. But no, he ain't gonna do that. He ain't gonna do that one. Because that's gonna make me look good. He ain't going to do shit that make me be like, okay, you know what, y'all? This is my wife. I do love her. But at the end of the day, wrong is wrong, right is right. D, let's just come home and we're going to talk about it. He ain't going to do that. And I'm not going to go home because I don't want to deal with the shit. I'd rather just stay where I'm at and I just listen to my music and, and, and I'll cry it out and then I'll go home when I'm ready. I'm grown, bro. That's what people don't understand. I don't need D'Angelo. I want it, and I want D'Angelo. That's the difference. I don't need him for nothing, bro. And people don't understand that. If I'm going to be with somebody, I'm going to be with them, but I'm not going to be with them half one foot in, one foot out. One foot in, one foot out. I'm, I, I, I don't know. 
Like, get the fuck on somewhere, bro. D'Angelo, I really feel like if you really want to talk for real, you can meet me up here, bring Duty to the park. That way he can play and he can release whatever he can. He can run around and stuff. Me and you can talk because I know you ain't finna act, talk loud and be obnoxious in front of these people outside that's walking their dog and stuff at this park. Like, you can do that. But if you, if we, like, I don't want to come home and then it be a whole bu bullshit, bro. I don't want to do that. I'm trying to avoid it. Damn. Like, I, it's like, Damn, let me avoid shit. How no how y'all know a motherfucker ain't gonna be like, man, fuck this live and, and and go to a gun range and then I go do something I regret. How y'all know a motherfucker ain't thinking those thoughts? How y'all know a motherfucker ain't thinking like man shit? I done did all I could. It's like a motherfucker pushed me until I start saying I hate, I hate, I hate. I'm not a hateful fucking person. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not a hateful person at all. It's motherfuckers that I never thought I'd reconsider to be in my life. I reconsidered them back in my life because I really want the best and I really see the potential in motherfuckers. But then when you voice your opinion about how you feel and what you're going through, it's like, no, you po it's like, no, you want to shut the fuck up. Deal with it. It's the truth. That's what the fuck you get. Fix yourself. Okay, so now I'm in a I'm in a process of fixing myself for the better. I don't I don't be I I, I y'all can get on here and say the the Diwana or the Delari y'all know back when I first started y'all first started watching me too. That's who I am now. That's not. That's not. And y'all a motherfucking lie if y'all say it is because it's not. I done took motherfucking L's on and off camera, my nigga. I done took L's. And but at the same time, guess what? I made sure I capitalized off that shit. I learned my lesson and I, and I still made sure I got up every day. I still made sure my son didn't go without. I still made sure that my husband didn't go without. I still make sure that if, 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 if shit needed to be paid, that shit is paid. Whether I got to take it out of my own money or not, I still made sure I pulled my motherfucking weight. Like I said, when I just wasn't working that whole February 2nd to March 15th, I still had a full check coming in every time. So that way I know he can't pay that shit by himself. So me doing my part, I still made sure I did what I had to do. But that shit go unnoticed. All that goes out the window because I'm a bully, because I'm expressing myself, because I'm asking my husband, how can we make things better? I'm telling him, he told me, I don't want to be under you. I don't want to be next to you. You too fucking negative. What he do? He going to live room. And that's when he got the text message he got from me expressing myself. But I'm wrong because four days late or three and a half, four days later, instead of him saying, I read your message, this, that, and the third. No, he leaves. He start drinking. Before he going to work, he drinking and shit. Why is you putting yourself in that type of situation? Because if something happened to you on the clock, they going to drug test you. You can't pass a drug test. Like, get the fuck out somewhere. Motherfuckers always think I'm trying to down them out bad. I learn from that shit. You don't down a motherfucker out bad. You don't do that shit. But, oh, but a motherfucker could do you like that because they already seen you done got down, dogged out like that already. You done got down. They done seen your family do you wrong. They done seen your mama talk bad about you. They done heard the shit already. So 
So they immune to it. So if they say it, shit, you already know the truth. So it shouldn't bother you. Shut the fuck up and deal with it. It's the truth. I like to take trips and shit. I like to go out and do stuff. Why would I want to go out and do stuff with somebody and then I got to make sure? Yeah, I got to budget it. I got to budget it. But at the end of the day, if he, like I said, if he don't pull his weight, I got to make sure we good. Damn. Motherfucker just probably see me as a fucking dollar sign and what they can do, what I can help them with. And then they can add on to it or it's her shit, but I'm going to say we because we married, so I'm entitled. D'Angelo, I just told you to come to the park, bro. I'm not going to come to the house. I'm not coming to the house. I say, come to the park, bring my son, and, and he can play while we talk. I'm not finna come to the house, bro. I don't want to be there, and it's toxic, bro. No, bro. Hell no. No, 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 no. 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 Because the way my mindset is, like, no, I don't want to do that. No, bro. I don't want to do that. I want to stay outside. And get a breath of fresh air shit. I work from home. I want to go outside. Like, I ain't ate in two fucking days, my nigga. Like, I'm stressed the fuck out. Bad. I, that's the thing about me, too, though. I'm an open book. So if a motherfucker ever came to me and asked me my story or what I've been through or just how I experienced or got past certain shit or how I'm able to live life knowing that you can go months and years without talking to your parents and shit or how you can just go years without talking to immediate family and shit. Like, I, I, I'm I, I'm an open book. I tell people. I don't play victim. I tell people how I deal with the shit. I don't play like, oh, shit, that shit don't phase me. I already know that phase me, bro. But before a motherfucker that I, I'm with to throw that shit on the social media as if he that nigga to make him look superior, boy, fuck you. That shit make me feel some type of way because I don't do that shit to you. That shit really bothered me, bro. Because why would you say that? Why would you do that? What did that do to you? What did that make you feel like? That nigga? Damn, on oh what? While we sitting up here all on live and stuff, he could have came up here to the park. We could have talked it out. Duty could have played for a little bit. Then we could have went back home, switched cars to wherever we was going to do. Went to go get Kanaya stroller and car seat. Went to go get her some shit that she need. And we could have ended our day going to dinner or some shit. And started on a clean slate. But as soon as I voice my opinion about if I don't feel like something right, you thinking with your fucking emotions. You need to think logic. Like, dude, I'm, I, I'm thinking logic and with my emotions. But logically, some shit don't make sense to me. It don't. Then when I ask for clarification is, you got a bird brain. Like, dude, come on. I don't want to hear motherfucker keep putting me down. I hear that shit on the regular sometimes from social media. That's why I pick and choose what I want to post on this bitch. That's why I pick and choose and say what I want to do. That's why it's up to me if I post a video. Like, come on, bro. You're right. I left the house. I did leave so I can have a clear mind. I did. 
I did leave, but I'm telling you, if you want to say something to me, if you want to talk to me, you can come up here. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to go back home and then it'd be a whole different situation. I'm telling you, D'Angelo, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be at that house. I don't. Damn, that's what I'm saying. I know I left. News flash. Yeah, I left. I went to the park. Okay. Like, what the fuck? It's not a secret, bro. Like, I know I got flaws. I know it's stuff I need to work on. I know that. But I'm still working on it as I'm still trying to still maneuver through life. They don't give you a fucking guidebook to tell you how to do be a parent, how to be like, come on now. Yeah, I might be the oldest, but what the fuck? The shit I had to deal with at home, I ain't never finna put my kids through that shit. I don't punish me just because to watch kids and shit. Nah, enjoy being a kid, bro. Do what you gotta do. Stack your money. You can live with me. I told my son, you can live with me till you're 25 years old. You sure the fuck can. So that way I can know you financially comfortable and you ready to move on your own. And you got your credit together. And you ain't out here just trying to find your way. No, your mama go make sure you straight. Same with my daughter. What the fuck? But I'm wrong for how I think. I'm wrong because I'm supposed to let the kids be kids and it's fuck them kids because they're going to be they they going to do their own thing eventually. I understand that, but at the end of the day as a parent, I'm not going to just wait till my kids 18 again just be like fuck them. I'm not going to do that. That's statistics. That's black people. That's black African American people that do shit like that. That's Milwaukee mentality. I'm not fucking doing that. They barely know they way around. Motherfucker ain't finna be having my kids out here just trying to fend for they self. And they got and they got a whole mama out here who established it can help them get by. The fuck is wrong with that? White people do it all the fucking time. So why is it wrong for a black successful person to do it? But here I go want to do it with my husband so we can build. And that way he come from shit, I come from shit. That way we can build on each other. And our, our daughter can be in a stable environment to where her parents are married and they and, and she ain't got to worry about, I went to my daddy's house, I'll have to go to my mama's house, and then they do stuff over here different, then I got to come home. Like, dude, that shit toxic as fuck. That's toxic as fuck. That's toxic as hell. I grew up like that. I don't want my kids to grow up like that. That shit toxic as fuck. Even with my baby daddy, this nigga don't even see his son. He got access to his son. He got the house phone number, my phone number, low phone number, duty phone number, and he still don't take the initiative to do what the fuck he supposed to do. But y'all don't, I, I'm so bitter and I'm a bully, but y'all don't hear that part of it. But then when he don't do what he supposed to do for his son and I put him on child support, I'm a bitter baby mama. No, I'm not bitter because if you would do for your son, you wouldn't be on fucking child support. You don't pick and choose what you want to do for your son, but you didn't pick and choose when you wanted to fuck. Get the fuck out from here. And the same for Kanai. It's not an option for D'Angelo. He has to do something for his daughter. I can't do what I can't control what he do for the other kids. Them not my kids to be trying to control that. I can control what he do for my child. Like what the fuck? I'm not wrong for wanting better for my fucking kids, bro. Because when I wanted better for the kids that he has, I, I was overstepping boundaries. So when I step the fuck back, that's when shit got toxic. So no, I'm not putting myself in that shit no more. I'm not going to keep putting myself in a fuel of fire. I get burnt and ain't nobody there to put the fucking gas light out and the a, a fire out. I'm just burning. Bad. I'm just burning. Motherfucker, I don't even think to spit. To make that fire go out. Motherfucker just like, you know what? She she been through all that. She done that's her. She got herself in that shit. But then the motherfucker call me and expect me like I'm obligated. Like I gotta do it. Get the fuck out of here. Cause put the put the shoe on the other foot. 
Let D'Angelo have been well established in Georgia and I come out there and he got his step shit going and I ain't got nothing really going for myself and I don't got no job and I got shit that needs to be done and I need a job. So I, I'm depending on him for everything. He gonna be like, damn, bitch, you on here, you coming out here like you, like it's a meal ticket, bro. What the fuck? Where your shit at, bro? Then he gonna, then motherfucker gonna be quick to say, you a bum ass bitch. You a weak ass bitch. Like, I don't want, bro. But then when the shoe on the other foot, instead of me, you bum ass nigga, you weak minded ass nigga, I'm making sure my nigga is getting on. Getting on. I'm not going to do that shit illegally. I'm going to do it the right way. So then the motherfucker ain't got to watch over their shoulder every time they turn around because motherfucker don't know who, who watching who or who after him or who this or that, who that. Like, come on now, keep it 100. Y'all sitting up here talking to so I, I was, he, he told me up here talking to I was lying. That nigga moved in my house and my ex was still living there. My nigga, stop playing with me. I ain't no lie about shit. I told him the truth. Me and her wasn't on good terms. She about to sign the lease so she could get off my shit because she getting the fuck out. I ain't never lied. And then he had the choice to say, I ain't coming or I'm still coming. What the fuck he say? I'm on my way. Motherfucker got there. My ex was still there. Like, stop lying on me, bro. Like, I'm just lying and I just got you out here and I'm just out here by myself. Like, I just got you out here as a meal ticket. Like, I'm just trying to capitalize off you. Stop playing. And he driving crazy, of course. For what? Watch he act a crazy. Watch he act a fool. Look at my son. Look at my son. Get out. You could go play. You could go play. You could go play. Oh. You got a basketball? Well, you ain't got your basketball? Oh. He got his car? So why are you on your lawn to these folks? Bro? Okay, let's be honest. No, why are you on your lawn to No, let's be bro? honest. First of all, to... no, first of all, you left this morning before we could even say anything. When I'm not talking to you or I don't want to talk to you, you want it is to avoid disrespecting you. How do I do this? Hold on. How do I fix this? Or you can change lock, rotate the rope. Okay. You say what? If I'm telling you to leave me alone and I don't have nothing to say, it's because I'm trying to calm down. Mm -hmm. If you keep provoking me and you want to talk when I'm angry, Where and then you say shit. Do go. Uh uh, come around right here so we can see you. Okay, what? When I'm mad, I get silent. Mm -hmm. And you try to force me to talk. Mm -hmm. That's disrespect right there because you're trying to make me do something that I don't want to do. Okay. I'm trying to avoid disrespecting you. Mm -hmm. But when you keep trying to force me to talk to you as if. I'm a little ass kid or some shit, like I'm duty or some shit, or I'm one of the girls. Like, fuck, you can't force me to talk to you. I'm pissed off right now. Leave me alone. Let me be. Mm -hmm. If you respect boundaries, you wouldn't get disrespected. Okay. Because when you don't respect my boundaries, you're disrespecting me. I, off the gate, I don't give a fuck what nobody talking about. I don't give a fuck about what none of y'all motherfuckers got to say. When the motherfucker don't respect your boundaries, fam, it's disrespectful, fam. It's disrespectful, flat out. Mm -hmm. You left this morning without even saying shit. So how is we supposed to talk about something then last night? That shit was supposed to be done on Urban Week. I didn't tell you to get on live. That was I, a decision that you made. I said, I don't get no fuck. If right, you go on I, live, you put you going on live at your own fucking risk. I never said you told I never said that. Listen, man, if you said you want to go live, you go on I live did, at your own risk. Right. I never said you time, bro. You sitting up there, you, you try multiple times to pull my motherfucking card. You try multiple times to pull my card. Then you talking about some, oh, well, I pay for this and I pay for that, nigga. You look at your pay rate, you don't look at our pay rate. You make way more money than I do. So if I'm telling you, no, d that we need to have something that we pay something for, rent need to be uh, reasonable for the both of us, so ain't nobody doing more than the other. You know, I really want this. I really want to live in this luxury apartment. I really want to do this. Okay, but then you should be responsible for the extra, fee uh, extra fees then. I don't get overtime like that. My job don't give out raises. I get bonuses once every three months. 
right. You so get I'm saying, bro, at the same time, don't make us live on our means and then you feel like, oh, I got to pay extra this and pay extra that. If that's what you wanted and you see both of our pay rate, then you are responsible for those extra fees because that's what you wanted. No, D'Angelo, I'm talking about when your check is not is what it's supposed to be for the um, bill account, you tell me, oh, well, it's this much. That ain't, that ain't been that, though, but at the same time, if it is short, it's because of what, Diwana? I have you to leave because to of who? Because can I? Because of Kanai or before that. Because of who? Me? Because something wrong. Okay, so I'm the bad guy and my check's short because my wife in need and she need me and I leave and it's going to cost me money here. Like, bro, you try to have it both ways and you can't. But even when, be, but you got to be honest, low. Because before when it, when, it, when it wasn't with Nai and it wasn't me, you would give, you just didn't want to be at work. Yeah, because and then and you that, would come that, home, that right? Job, but hello, job, wait, bro. no, that listen. Job, right? Am I right? Job. Am I right? Dough, bro. Am I right? Job. That's, that's this job. job. No, that's not yes, this it job. Yes, it is because you just when that you like I'm leaving. These motherfuckers pissed me off about how they switched stuff and I was on mornings and I really didn't have much to say. I said, "Well, that's how company is." You like, "No, nah, they motherfuckers ass racist." Da, 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 and I and I really didn't give you the feedback you were looking for, and you got mad at me and you left because you said you ain't want to be you ain't want to be at work. What I'm supposed to do? No, say, say say no, say no, stay at work. No, I said. You, that was one time. One time that think, I leave on my own agenda. One time that I leave on my own agenda. You, bro, that's what I be saying, bro. I leave one time on my own because they piss me off on um, Yes. I'm working nights. I work nights. Now I got to go to mornings. Then I go work mornings. Then they move my schedule again on another morning. Like, come on, bro. Yes, I'm pissed off. I'm going to leave. I did that shit on one accord on my account. But all them other times, fam, is because my wife needed me. So, yes, I left work. So, yes, my check going to be short. So, you need to take that shit into consideration. You always try to have it your way. You can't have it both ways. You got you to gotta take one and not have one. That's what you don't be understanding, fam. And you just keep pushing, keep pressuring and pressuring and pressuring. Like, fam, folks, I don't have four arms. I don't have four legs. I don't have two brains. I am one man. And when I give you advice and, take, and tell you how to do shit, bro, you don't listen because you go off of your feelings. So, bro, don't come at me with that, bro. Like, bro, you so how long is that you on social media? Because, bro, you see the bitch trying to tell these folks, folks, like, I just really be down talking you when I do nothing but uplift your ass every single fucking day. I know the shit that you've been through, and that's why I supported you the way that I support you. But then when you don't give me no motherfucking credit, you don't even acknowledge the fact and appreciate the shit, and you making me feel ungrateful while I'm uplifting you, and I know I'm the best nigga that you ever had in your fucking life, bro, that shit hurts. Yes, that shit hurts. So, and you sit up there and you act like, yeah, I, I'm deep. I, I did all this by myself. You were stuck at them numbers for a long ass motherfucking time, bro. Until I came with the knowledge and we did that shit together. I ain't never say I, 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 I shit. It's always we, 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 we. Regardless. So you getting on here telling these folks like, bro, like I be mean, just like, oh, here just like straight down to you, bro. And just not- like straight. Like, straight clowning you folks like, y'all, we literally don't have no issues, bro. Everything be good, bro. Diwana has to find something to nitpick about and start shit. Every single time, every single argument is because of how she feel, fam. Every single argument is because of how she feel. I be cool, calm, and collective, fam. I don't be on no drama shit. I don't be on none of that. If I get this way, that's because a motherfucker is antagonizing me. They provoking me. That's the only time I get like this, bro. Other than that, y'all have seen me chill, cool, calm, and collective. I be cracking jokes and shit, bro. But when it comes to her feelings, and I disagree with her feelings, it's the end of the fucking world. It's so, the end of the world, so, But bro. it's okay for you to say, this is why niggas whooped your ass? This is why... No, I'm showing you. I'm trying to tell okay? you this is why. Is this is why. No, I just didn't say you. I said women in general. No, you and didn't. No, you didn't. Go watch the replay. You said this is why motherfuckers be... This and why I your said, ass is I, I said that, and I said other women too. Women in general. That's why y'all be getting knocked outside y'all motherfucking head because y'all don't know how to respect boundaries and y'all motherfucking mouth too sleep. Y'all so mouth is like a razor blade. Y'all, so, y'all, y'all say words don't hurt. So, words do hurt like so, a motherfucker. And y'all know the exact same words to get under a motherfucking skin. And so, that's why niggas be unalive in y'all motherfucking ass because y'all don't know how to put a motherfucking uh, padlock on y'all motherfucking tongue because y'all feel, oh, oh, this is how I feel. So you need to hear how I feel. So no, I don't. So, okay, so niggas unalive women. So when women unalive men, it's because y'all playing. Y'all, y'all but playing. Y'all I got do, bitches. Y'all got bitches. What bitches do I have? I'm not saying you. That's what I'm saying, bro. Okay, what I'm bitches say, do I have, I'm, though? I'm, no, 
No, you because said- they already think I be cheating on you and shit and all this other weird ass goofy ass shit. I never cheat on my wife. All I do is go to work and come home, and she'll tell you that shit. She got the password to my motherfucking phone. I don't be up communicating. I don't have no personal social media. Only social media I had all that shit say D and low. I don't have nothing personal. Women don't give a fuck about that. They still go and DM. But I do. I do. Can nobody come on this motherfucker and say, "Oh, we have a conversation," or come to you about a woman about me? No, y'all got the game fucked up. Just because I stand on my shit like a motherfucking man, I gotta be cheating. Man, get the fuck out of here with that goofy ass shit. No, I'm a fucking man. That's what makes me a man standing on what the fuck I said. Fuck wrong with y'all. Y'all got the game fucked up, and that's why a lot of y'all ain't got no niggas now. And can't keep no niggas now. Because y'all feel like it's always the nigga. How is it always the nigga? It ain't you. You ain't got no shit that you need to work on. No, some motherfucking way with that goofy ass shit, bro. So I'm a bully? Bro, you can be a bully, yes. Because if I'm asking you to stop, Stop, you wanna? I don't feel like talking right now. You wanna leave me alone? And you keep, you keep going and keep going. That's bullying, fam. You ain't gotta pull my hair and shit and and poke at me for it not to be bullying. If I'm telling you to leave me alone, give me some space right now. Let me do me right now. That's bullying, and you keep provoking me. You keep charging me up or standing over me like I'm a little ass kid and talking to me like I'm a child. Yes, folks, that's bullying. I don't know no grown man who gonna let me stand over them like they a kid. The motherfucker gonna knock me out bad. Right, but see, that's what I'm saying. That's what you want me to do. You want me to knock your ass out. That's why you stand over me and talk to me like that. Like, you provoke me. And then you laugh and shit. That shit don't do nothing but make a nigga even more mad because you taking me as a fucking joke even when I'm angry and I'm telling you to leave me alone. Like, folks, what's wrong with y'all, bro? That shit is crazy, my nigga. So do you think you don't need counseling? No, I don't need counseling. I need for you to just respect my boundaries. That's it, because when we went to counseling the first time, everything that the fucking counselor was saying was the same shit I was telling you. But you don't want to listen to me. So do you want to still be married? If I didn't want I would have been left your ass a long time ago. Why is it always you got to leave me? Because, bro, you... Why can't I leave you? Yeah, if that's what you're going to do, it. But what you don't understand is you want to... Whenever I get to this point in a lot of situations with women, I leave they ass, folks. I don't give a fuck if they, how much money they got. I don't give a fuck how good they look. I don't care about none of that shit. Once I see you can't respect me and you can't respect my boundaries, it, it's deuces, fam. It's deuces. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Old girl in Georgia, yeah, she did have me out there bad, but at the same motherfucking time, I still my I, I held my own, though. But this is my thing. Even yeah. when it comes to my LLC, fam, I was young when I did my shit. So when I seen that, oh, uh, I got IRS from LLC from, uh, I mean, my shit came LLC from, uh, IRS, nigga, that's all I thought I needed. As I went on through the game, as I went on through life, I started getting more and more knowledge. So this is my thing. So when that. I'm trying to get this shit to you, now mm-hmm. you're trying to take it as, oh, well, if you had your business, you should have did this and you should have did that. No, that's you not what I said. I said you should have did that. Like, bro, mm-hmm. all I try to do, I, I did my, I, I, I had my run. I had my run. I wanted to do music. And once I found out all that shit that you got to do to make it to the top, is all oh, that shit true. But that Illuminati shit, that, that Illuminati shit true. So I got back from music artist. and I didn't want to do music no more. Mm-hmm. I turned off from music, okay? Mm-hmm. So I went to school. I went to school and got my motherfucking uh, degree in medical billing and coding. Graduated top of my class and all that shit. But they didn't tell me that, oh, once uh, I graduate because of my felony, I can't even do shit in this field. So now, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I don't want to do shit no more. I just want to be a family man. You already got something going on. Okay, well, I'm just going to support you. I'm going to be the support system of the family. I'll be the backbone of the family. Oh, no, 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 no. You need to do your business, too. Like, what the fuck, bro? I just want to support you and, and be there for my motherfucking kids. I don't want to be in no fucking limelight. So you didn't want to... Yes. Like, what the fuck, bro? Y'all be, y'all be tweaking, bro. Y'all be smoking dope, bro. Yeah, because I can see you. You gonna I'm put your key, your car over they there too? Me to stop yelling, fam. Okay. Jump off a bridge, bro. Um, it ain't me yelling. It's just I talk with passion, fam. When I talk and I get riled up, nigga, this me. I talk with passion. So, um, am I a bad person? You can be. Overall, like, no, you are a genuine sweet person. Genuinely, yes, you are a sweet person. But when it comes to your feelings and shit, and you feel like you ain't being heard, and you feel like you got to prove a point, you, 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 you damage your own image when you do shit like that. 
Oh, because you're not hearing me. Like, I hear you all the fucking time. You get listened to all the fucking time. But just because, and if I disagree with it, I disagree with it. It ain't for it to be, oh, I want a divorce. And all, like, that's the shit you do. Okay, let me ask you this. The last time divorce was mentioned, then you call everybody and you say, I'm telling them we getting a divorce. Is that true? Yes, because of the shit that you was doing, bro. You was doing some real foul ass shit, bro. You was taking money out of accounts and shit. Did you, you ain't listening. You, you ain't smoking that. Man, come on, bro. You wanted me to come up here, bro. I know, but you know come that on, that smell. Man, come on, let me man. let the window down more. Hey, you gotta work with me, fam. I came, I came, man. I met you on your turf. Okay, well, when you smoke, you just blow it out that way, please. I met you on your turf, bro. So, oh shit, where my key thing go? Okay, so um. I ain't even reading the comments. What they saying? It's not that I don't care, but I'm not finna rah, rah, rah because he is, like, I'm not doing, I don't. So answer this, D'Angelo. Do I, when I, when I be talking, do I rah, rah, rah you? It depends on what it is. It depends on what it is. But am I? Am I? Do I got a bird brain? It be your, it be your approach and your presentation. This is what I keep saying over and over and over again. It's your approach and your presentation. It's how you present the shit with me. It's how you bring it to me, fam. And when you bring it to me like you my fucking mama, or you trying to stand on me, or you trying to sun me, you gonna get resentment every time. And I keep telling you that, and I told you that from the jump. Don't talk to me like that, man. Give me my respect, fam. I understand if I'm a bum ass nigga and I sit there at home and do nothing while you work, you cook, you clean, and I just sit there and play the motherfucking game all day. I don't do none of that shit, bro. I do my part. If you pay more than what we're, than what you pay, or I, my funds don't make up, is because of the lifestyle you wanted to live. You wanted this extra shit, so yes, you should be responsible for those fees. If I'm I, if I if I only make this much, you yes, bro. If I only make this much, yes. Because you already see how much I make. But you just looking at how much you make. And you looking at what you want. You ain't thinking about my pockets. You ain't thinking about us overall. You thinking about what Diwana wants. But when I asked you about it, what you say? What you mean? When we went to go see it and everything. Oh, yeah, babe, this night nice. here. Yeah, we going to get this. That's because of the simple fact I'm sitting up there trying to work shit out with you because you sabotaged me. How I was getting my money, you didn't like me getting my money that way. You sabotage Uber? me. Yes. Uber? It don't matter. I was still bringing in at least nine, at least eight, some hundred dollars a weekend. But my thing is, when you did Uber, you was complaining <laughs> how tired you was and you didn't yes, want to get up and do everything else. Yes, you going to complain. You complain. You complain about a job, man. What's wrong with that? Everybody complain about everything. You act like since I complain about it, oh, it's the end of the world. No, I'm just bidding. I got a moment. Everybody has a moment, bro. And you literally take every conversation that we have, we can be hypothetically speaking, you take that shit literal and you run with it. That's why I be saying you delusional. Because we didn't say this is what the game plan, we just talking. But you take that shit and you run with it and say, oh, this what you, this what he said, this what he wanted to do, this what, no, this is what we, I'm discussing. We talking, we brainstorming. So let me, let me, let me hey, replay on, a bro. conversation here. We on the phone, you at work. Man, this job shit, I keep telling you, babe, this job shit ain't need, man. Motherfucking government a scam, bro. We need to um get this business going. Well, so, we're motherfucking, so we ain't gotta Bitch. so we ain't gotta um work for these white men no more, babe. I'm telling you, man, we need to find a, out different outlets. But that's when we on the same shit. page. That's when we on the same page too. When you like, oh man, yeah, fuck this shit. Did you not have that same did you not go through that same shit when your job did something? You said fuck this shit. I, I, I really ain't into it like that no more. Yeah, we finna do a business. I be going off of your energy, bro. Like you be bro, that's why I be saying you be flip flopping my nigga, bro. One minute you be over here, next minute you be over there, bro. You be flip flopping, bro. You like fish out of water sometimes, bro. So let me ask you this. Like, come on, bro. Why did you tell me? Why did you? Why when you were telling me you did your LLC and stuff, you was trying to tell me how to do mine, but yours wasn't even. Because I never went back to to correct my shit. I'm telling you the knowledge that I gained over time when I did my shit, bro. I so, literally just started doing music. So why wouldn't you say, babe? I don't know if it's all right, but this is how <sighs> I, I did. do know it's right because this is the shit that I learned along the way. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, why you can't comprehend that, Diwana? Honey, you... it's not oh. right because you don't have an EIN. It's registered with the IRS. Oh, my God, bro. Okay, I understand that, fam. But what I'm trying to tell you is I never went back and did all the per the correct paperwork and all that other shit. Mm -hmm. I left it as is. And over time, as I went through my music fucking career, I did modeling and all that shit, bro. I gained the knowledge. 
and I kept the knowledge, but I but, never went back to do shit because I was done with my motherfucking business, bro. So you, right, but, but what I had you was telling me is you did your <sighs> shit already. Right. I, I, I did my shit already. I did my shit already. I tried to go out here and make something happen for myself. I tried to be, you know, uh, 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 famous and all that other shit. I lived that road already. I don't want to go down that road. I don't want to do the shit that you got to do to make it and to be famous and shit. I don't want to go down that road. I know what you got to do. I don't want to do that shit. I went to school. I went to medical school. Well, a, a, a motherfucking degree or uh, uh, go to school and get a degree or something that you always going to be needed. Okay, Guess so what? right, right. Now okay, I got a fucking felony. Right, right, okay, right. so now I can't do shit with it. So, so now what, what, what you going to do now, D'Angelo? Shit, I'm 30 motherfucking six. I'm going to be 37. What else is it for me to do to, other than sit my ass down somewhere and be a fucking family man? Okay, so look. The you, fuck? You, you already got a business going on? Okay, so I'm going to support you. So if, Okay, so just like you said, your, your business thing didn't work out for you. So if YouTube wasn't working out for me and I said, okay, I want to go back to school like you did. I, I never said that you couldn't go back to school. All I did was put out different POVs. Just like you got out here asking these motherfuckers for that POV, I gave you multiple situations so you can see what's going to happen if you pick this or you pick this or you still do YouTube so you can weigh out your options. If you want to go to school, go to school. I said it got to make sense if you want me to support you. That's what I said. I never forced you to continue to do YouTube. I'll never force you to do shit. And that's what be pissing me off because you keep telling motherfuckers I'm forcing you or I'm making you. Like, bro, stop saying that shit. So it got so you scared. You don't. You can't make up your mind on what you want to do. So you need to put it off on somebody else. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. So if I'm scared, if I if if it don't make sense to you, you're not supporting me. So if I go back to school, no, for it don't make sense hygiene, to me. It go back to school. Me. Go back to school because was you just not you just left the dental office because of why. You was just in the dental office. And then you left out the dental office to go work where you at now because you said the dental office on some bullshit. So why would you go back to school to be dental when you just said you don't like the dental uh, offices out here in San Antonio? It ain't making no sense, bro. Come As on. a dental hygienist? All right, Duana. Like I said, bro. I was in a front do, desk. Bro. Okay, do what you do, bro. But at the same time, don't so be you, flip floppy, bro. So you won't support don't me? Don't be flip floppy, bro. Pick a month, pick a career, pick what you want to do, and I'll support you. But if you sitting up here saying, oh, I want to do YouTube. Oh, I want to do YouTube no more. I want to braid here. Oh, no, I don't want to braid here. I want to do dinners. Okay, I don't want to do dinners no more. Now I want to go back to school. Like, come on, bro. You got to pick one. You can't sit up here and just and keep expecting me to go, yes, 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 yes. Like, bro, come on, bro. You about to have a baby. All that type of shit, bro. You ain't thinking about the, the, the stress going to come with that shit. You don't know if you're going to get postpartum. You don't know none of that. I am going to get it with you. No, it ain't with me, bro. Because it's simple, D-Money. All you got to do is respect boundaries, fam. All you got to do is not talk to me like I'm a kid. And we get along fine. But you so used to being a man and a woman in a relationship. You so used to dealing with bum-ass niggas, fam. Like, you you can't separate it, bro. You, it's hard for you to do so. So you're not because a bum-ass like... nigga? All right, bro. You see the disrespect. No, bro. I'm asking you. you because you... No, I'm, you know why I'm asking you? you because you you disrespect bro. me and no, say nothing. You don't see? got... I'm, nothing good about see what about I'm me. talking about? Y'all see what I'm talking about? It's toxic, bro. This shit is an ongoing thing, bro. When motherfuckers try to make peace and motherfuckers start making sense of it, bro. Like a kid. It should be... Man, bro, come so, on, bro. So, yeah, do bro, you feel like? So, bro. do you feel like? Do you feel like we need to live separate and still be married? Ain't no separate shit, bro. It's simple. It's simple. Respect boundaries. So, Res if okay, so I respect mm. your boundaries. You gonna respect mine? I always respect your boundaries, Dwanda. When do I just come out of nowhere and just start disrespecting you? When do I just come out of nowhere and start yelling at you? Now. Because you in gay, you intoxicating shit, bro. You being toxic. This is the only time I get like this, fam, and you know that, Dewana. Yesterday. Why did you, why did so, <laughs> so let me ask you something, and be honest, okay? Do you think you could have kept your composure when you seen me on TikTok Live? Could, do you think that could have been avoided? Be honest. It could have been avoided, but that shit pissed me off because you made a whole motherfucking scene. You called my sister, and you did all that shit. You tried to, you tried to shine on a nigga and make it seem like, oh, all I do is sit there and play the motherfucking game. You tried to shine on me, bro. You made a big ass deal about me playing my motherfucking game that I barely get to play. But you on TikTok all day, every day, even at work. Like, bro, I don't it get that. I can't even. Work. I don't care. It don't matter. I can't play the game at work. So now that's your it's, it's your escape zone. It's your way to escape. So I ain't supposed to fucking escape. I gotta stay in the matrix and, 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 and do every month. Like, come on, bro. That shit. That shit not fair, bro. How is it okay for you to be on TikTok all day from the day you wake up? You don't even acknowledge a nigga. You grab your phone and you scroll on TikTok before you even say hi, good morning, all that shit. You don't say shit to me, but you make sure you say good morning to that motherfucking phone. You make sure TikTok get their motherfucking uh, uh, recognition and all that shit. 
And I don't bitch, I don't complain about none of that shit. But it'd be two, three days before I even sit there and play my motherfucking game. And then when I play the game, oh, it, you could be doing dishes. Oh, it could be laundry. Like, folks, I'm not no fucking kid. I'm not no kid, bro. I'm going to do that shit on my time when I feel like it. Mondays is my day that I clean the motherfucking house. I feel like that's not fair. I, Monday, don't, care. I don't care. Be, be, bro, you be did you like, call me another bitch? You be acting like the house did is. You just call me bro, I'm bitch? trying to get my fucking words out. If I called you one day, I'm going to be clear about it. The fuck, bro? You ain't got to keep it. I ain't going to get Oh, it. look at him. Bro, like, come on, bro. This shit is ridiculous, bro. You just, you just toxic, bro. So do you feel like you shouldn't have married me? If I felt like that, d we would have been divorced already. You think we should do a series of who the fuck did I marry? I feel, I, I'm not bad. I'm, not I ain't bad? taking you through the ringer. I ain't taking you through the ringer. I ain't did half the shit. I ain't doing half the shit that that nigga did to her. On the real. It don't like, gotta bro, be, be like them. You be acting like you be acting like you just. I'm just the worst fucking husband ever. Like you just be going through it, bro. You act like I be beating on you. You act like you act like I be putting you through shit that you used to go through in your old relationship. That's how you. That's that's like you still stuck on that shit. You traumatized from that shit. But why do my husband gotta re remind me of the traumatized? Because you, you of the trauma. Because you can't. Because you need to be reminded of why you need to respect me. Because I'm here when other motherfuckers ain't. So, so do therefore, I do that to you? Do you with your kids and your baby mamas and stuff, Deandra? Do, 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 do I do that? I don't that? start shit with you either. But do I, I do that? Wanna, Even I when I was you. going through stuff do and wanna, I dealt with that. I respect you, but at the same time, you started that shit because you got on live and you trying to pull my No, I'm saying with your baby mama. Do I call them? Want, do I disrespect them? What you mean? Do I do that? What you mean? Do I put your business out there like that and say stuff like that? What business did I put out there? What business did I put out there? You, A prime example of our duty situation. I'm there with my, when, when the other motherfucker ain't. Right, and then, and that's to get you to understand, you wanna. You can't disrespect motherfuckers that's there in your corner. You can't sit up there and try to go on live and disrespect them and pull their motherfucking card and try to hold them and try to embarrass them because uh, a motherfucker disagree with you. That's not cool. Because whether you right or wrong, I'm always in your fucking corner. So when you got somebody like that that's loyal to you and that appreciates you and do uplift you, fam, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't do that. You don't do that. You don't continue to disrespect them because you feel like your feelings are superior. No, fam, we just agree to disagree. That shit not cool, bro. So what happens from here, D'Angelo? What you mean? What happened from here? You the one left. I we left did, to we, get we didn't even talk. We, bro. I, I left to get it clear. Who is y'all? I, I, I thought duties was with you. No, and that's the thing. You always be thinking I'm trying to take him away. That's that's why you be thinking so low of me because you think I'm just toxic. If now, if you was hitting on me, yes, I'm taking my son from the situation. But we having an argument, a conversation, whatever. So he can stay at home. He's at home sleeping. Why would I wake him up and be like, come on. Now, if I would have checked into a hotel or something, hell yeah, I'm going to take him with me. Like, come on now, D'Angelo. You making it seem like I'm just that toxic. Like, I just be like, oh, I'm taking the kids away from him. I know what you deal with already with your baby mamas. Why would I have you revisit that? That's like me telling you, oh, you can't be in the room when I have Kanai. Or if you make me mad, I'm taking Kanai away. And I already know what you done dealt with with your son and your two kids, your other two babies. Why would I have you remind? Why would I remind you of that? That hurt, don't that hurt you? It hurt me when you sit up there and disrespect me after all of that. I've been there for you. How I've been there for you. And no, you to go no, no. There, yes, you, yes, you, yes. Can you face the situation? Head? Oh, don't that hurt you with the situation and the kids? Yeah, it do. Okay, so why would I rehab you, revisit that, and remind you of that, Low? Why would I do that? Okay, so why would you get on live and try to embarrass me and try to pull my motherfucking card? Like, see how you do that shit? Like, you throw rocks and then hold, hide your hand. You throw rocks and then hide your hand. Don't initiate shit. Don't start shit if you can't finish it. And then you play victim, bro. And you see nothing wrong with what you're doing. Huh? How you go about shit? You see nothing wrong with that. That's crazy. No, I'm trying to get you to see that you hitting me below the belt, but when I, I don't hit you below the belt. I know you what you've been through. You, you, you just said you the, the whole situation of how the kids came up is you said you thought y'all left. I said, who was y'all? You said you and duty. I made the prime example that why would I do that if I know what you've been through? I know how much of a trigger that is. I'm not finna sabotage you and remind you and bully you and take him just because I know that that's gonna get that's gonna that's gonna hurt you. Why would I do that? You're not looking at that. 
you you want to you hurt me when you get the fuck on here and try to embarrass me and try to pull my card. You literally started the shit again. You came in there and said, can you leave out the room? I was in here first. I've been in here all motherfucking day playing the game out of my business. Yeah, right, you've been Netflix, in there all day. And I said, can you Netflix, go in the living room? All that room? shit. I'm chilling by myself. And then you come in the room and you get off of work and you say, can you go in the living room? Like, no, nigga, you go in the living room. How the hell are you going to tell me to kick me out so you can go on live and talk shit about me? I wasn't, I wasn't, that was my, that's the thing. I, my intentions wasn't to yeah, go live and talk to that was your intention, to... but that's what you ended up doing. Go watch the play, but go watch the replay, d that's why I be saying you get a you get amnesia, folks. You get amnesia. Do you, and that do, you be do, crazy. you do you respect me? I respect you when you respect me. That's it. I don't give a fuck when nobody talking about your fuck. None of them subscribers talking about respect is a mutual thing. It's a two way motherfucking street. I'm not finna let no motherfucker keep disrespecting me, and then I still supposed to be oh okay okay with my motherfucking tail behind my legs. No, nah, there ain't no motherfucking no. Nah, fuck that. You got me fucked up. No, if you want me, you want me to respect you. Respect me all the way around, like I respect you all the way around. It's simple. Respect, respect my boundaries, fam, and don't talk to me like I'm a child. That's all you gotta do. But all this shit, you you kicking up all this shit because you don't want to respect my boundaries and you don't want to stop talking to me like a child. Because all you had to say was, "Okay, I, I can do that. I can do that. I can do that." But you, when you, I told you what triggered me. Right, you call me a bitch. Okay. No, I'm not gonna respect you, nigga. No, I'm not finna. I'm finna dog you like you dogging me. Cause why the fuck is you dogging? Why me? is you lying on me? Why is you taking me through all this shit? Over what? Lying because on you Because you about feel what? like I'm supposed to do some fucking laundry. Because you feel like I'm supposed to do some fucking laundry. We going through all of this because you so, feel like I'm supposed to do some fucking laundry, bro. No. Why did you separate the fact and say I'll just do my laundry? Because then? you got you got you got my mama and shit thinking you take care of me, bro. Like That's I'm a bum ass you. nigga. And like I, I just sit on my can... ass and play the video game all day, and you like I do nothing around that motherfucker. That's bro. not what I said. That's not what I told her, and we can call her like I said, and I told her. That's not what I said. And it, and honestly, I. Car, no, I text her back from a text message days ago, and she called me because she had already talked to you, and it's a lot that was said that I didn't even know that you told me otherwise. Thank but you. did I bring that back up Man, to you? Okay, check out what Kiki said. She said, "D, I used to go through the same thing and get triggered, but don't hurt him in the process. That's what you be doing to me." And that's why we be having fucking. So I'd be wrong if I said, "Man, fuck, dude." All right. Right? If you did, fuck no. Do you do you understand mental health? Man, I definitely understand mental health. Where is he at? I really don't know what to say. Because I feel like everything I try to be logic about is is, is more so I'm not respecting you. And I, even when I try to talk cordial to you, you want to be hostile. Because you be trying to... I asked you, you I said, where do we go from here? You trying to be hostile, but look at the shit that you already been kicked up, fam. Like that shit be crazy That's to me. Different. Like you, you, you kick up so much bullshit, and then when it get to a certain point to where okay, now nah, I'm tired of being toxic. Now, you don't you want to stop now? Like that's how that's how it comes off. You kick up all this toxic shit, and then when a motherfucker bring it to your front door, and you don't want to deal with it no more. Now it's why why you gotta be like that? Why we just can't be cordial? Why we just like? Why do you start the shit? You start it. And then when the nigga get when the nigga take it there, folks, and the nigga bring it to your front door, it's an issue. Like, come on, bro! Don't be starting shit if you can't. You can't finish that shit, man. Like I said, bro, you be needing a pinch of drama in your life. Shit be going good. I'm telling y'all, y'all, we haven't had no issues, y'all. We haven't had no issues until the other day. Everything been cool. Everything been copacetic. And you want to just have to find a way to not respect my boundaries and disrespect me and talk to me like I'm a fucking kid. That's where shit went left at. Do you think she came to apologize to me? Hell, motherfucking no. But then you she tell me stood. yesterday you she wasn't She stood on her shit, and she stood on how she felt. 
she got my family. She called my sister. All that shit, trying to make it seem like and try to embarrass me. But you shit. called your mom first, right? No, I didn't call yes, my mom first. Did. I called my mom after the fact. I call my mama after the fact. No, I call my mama that night. How the fuck you gonna tell me when I talk to my mama? I talked to my mama that night. That night. That's the fuck I did, Diwana. I talked night. to Tequila the day after. You talked to Tequila the day of. While, they, while we was arguing, when you was trying to sun me and you was trying to talk to me like I'm a little ass kid, you called Tequila right in there because I said, who you talk to? You said, this Tequila. This Tequila, bro. Like I said, bro, you be having amnesia, bro. You be having amnesia, I'm telling you. You got short-term memory loss, bro. You talk, you called Tequila while we were arguing because you trying to embarrass me, trying to make it seem How like... I'm trying to embarrass you in front of your you sister. Like, she already seen uh, this side of you man, before. No, bro, because you sitting up there like, oh, he on the motherfucking game when it's dishes and it's laundry. You that lying, be, you, I didn't say that. Oh I didn't do that. I didn't do all that. Bro, you did it. You did not do that. That's yeah. what triggered me even more because I, you was trying to son a nigga, bro, act like I don't be helping out around yep, the house. It, it was just like this. Let me see. It was just like it this. It don't matter. Do and, no, I'm going to give you an example. No, I, it, yo, it, my phone was just like this. And then I was like this. So, yeah, girl, this is what he doing. And this, that, and the third. Why, why, whoop whoop de woop whoop de woop I heard exactly what you said. You acting like I'm. You and said. This mother, you like, did. Come on, you man. did do that. You said hey, he on the motherfucking game. And his motherfucking dishes. And his motherfucking laundry. Yes, you did, Diwana. Yes, the fuck you did, bro. I'm not going to say you did it if you didn't do it. I'm not going to lie on you. Stop trying to make me out to be a liar. That's another reason I be getting pissed off, bro, because you be trying to make me out to be a liar, fam. You and called I me a liar, and I didn't lie. You don't even know the conversation we had. Lying now because you sitting up there saying that you didn't say it in that manner, and you did. That's what I be saying. You get okay. so caught up in your feelings, fam, that you don't even be knowing what be going on, okay, bro. what else? What else you got to say? Like, shit, you want respect? You got to give me something to respect, fam. You can't be out here just disrespecting me when you feel like it when you feel like, oh, I'm not uh listening to your feelings and shit, bro. Y'all women be having that shit bad, bro. Just because a motherfucker disagree with you, that don't mean I'm out here cheating on you. That don't mean I, I don't want to be with you. I care less if you talking to somebody else. That don't mean that shit, bro. I don't care. That don't mean that, bro. If you doing it, then you need to go be with them. I don't think of shit like that. Because it's going to eventually, what's done going to come to me eventually. So if you are, that's on you. You fucking yourself, not me. You talking to somebody else? Hmm? You wanna stop aggravating me, bro. I'm asking you. How? How? Damn. You keep asking me. You, you, bro, I don't be getting that shit, bro. You want me to be so bad, bro. You want me to fuck off on you so bad. I asked you a question right now. How am I cheating on you, Diwana? Why would I even think that? What deal? How many times have I told you even before we even said I do? What I say? Before I cheat on you, I would never cheat on you. I would leave your ass. I ain't got to cheat on you. I'm not going to bring somebody else into a toxic relationship and then now I got all this beef going on and all this drama going on. Like, fam, I learned from a kid, bro. I'm not moving like that. I ain't got to cheat on you. I just leave your ass and then go do me. I ain't got to bring nobody else into this shit. I don't have to move like that, fam. And that's what y'all be getting this shit understand. Y'all think all niggas the same and we not. Everybody don't move like that. All I want to do is be a fucking family man and build my fine, my, my legacy. That's it. I don't want shit else. So what do you want to do from here? Man, I want you to respect my boundaries and I want you to respect me as a fucking man and I want you not to talk to me as a kid. I'm not saying you gotta, yes, sir, no, sir. Oh, no, I'm not saying, no, I'm not saying you gotta do that shit. I ain't saying you gotta kiss my ass, yes, baby, no, baby. No, but just talk to me with respect. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm asking you for. Okay. That's what it's always been. I never asked you to just make it seem like I'm a motherfucking king tuck around here and you a servant. I never mm -hmm. treated you like that. And you know that. And, we, and, and, and once I do that, then what? What you mean? What happens from there? What you gonna do on your part? Because you want me to do what I gotta do on my part. So what are you willing to do, D'Angelo? What are you willing to do? As far as what do you want to if you want me to respect you, what are you going to do on your end? Like I said, everything, if you want, you want respect, you got to give respect. Don't act, don't make it seem like I just be jumping off the wall disrespecting you, fam. Don't do that. Because you already know shit be copacetic, fam. And if you really want to get, like, bro, I really don't want to do this, but I'm just saying, fam, we could bring duty into this shit and he'll tell you, fam. Duty done told you multiple times, mommy, mommy, you do be starting stuff. 
but you don't take that shit into consideration. Like the shit that you do to me, you're gonna be mad as fuck when duty be calling you trying to vent to you and telling you how these bitches out here doing him. You're gonna be mad. But you doing the shit. Why do you always have to bring I, him up? I don't, I, to give I, don't, a, I don't I don't bring the kids up. Bro. I don't bring them up. For I be a trying reason. to give you understanding, bro. I be trying to give you understanding. I understand, bro. but you no, bring you him don't. into it, that's not making me understand. I get it without the kids. No, you don't if I bring them the up, if I bring we've been having this conversation over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, y'all. This is why I'm like that. This is why I'm like this, y'all, because we keep having the same conversation over and over and over and over and over again, bro. When it's simple, just respect my boundaries, fam, and don't talk to me like I'm a nothing bum ass nigga and a little ass kid. Don't do that. And we're going to be good because we don't have no issues when you don't cross that line. But when you cross that line, yes, nigga, we got we got smoke because you ain't respecting me. But you want me to respect you. Fuck you got going on, bro. No, that shit ain't riding like that, bro. It's not riding like that, G. I don't give a fuck what you, 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 none of you motherfuckers say. I, I don't. I don't. You go jump off a building for all the fuck I care. Because y'all y'all don't know. Y'all ain't dealing with this shit. On the real, folks. Y'all motherfuckers tripping, folks. Y'all y'all sit up here and, and got all type of motherfucking opinions and shit. But let a motherfucker be putting you through that shit. Let a motherfucker be putting you through some shit. Come on, bro. Y'all sit up there can't tell me y'all ain't gonna sit up there and, and, and bring smoke back, folks. Go on somewhere, bro. But my thing is, it all started. If you would have said, if you wouldn't have did that yesterday, I was fine. Yeah, you was fine, but you never apologized for disrespecting my You didn't, you didn't give me a chance either. How? When I got off, How? you didn't give me a chance How? to say anything. You call, when you disrespected right, me Dimana. yesterday. All right, Dimana, I ain't give you a chance. That shit happened like two days ago when you was talking to me like a fucking kid. When you was sitting up there. Just like I texted you a, no. a novel and that, that happened because days ago you and you say? still didn't say nothing. Because what you say, you said we not texting novels. When shit gets serious and we in an argument, we not doing text messages. Did you not say that? Did you not say that? Okay. Okay. So how can you sit up there and say, oh, we're not doing text messages, and then you turn around and send me a novel? You know why? That's double to standard, avoid bro. this. No, it did not have to be like this. It's all about your presentation. When you disrespected me, you crossed my boundaries, and you provoked me to anger like that, you did not say shit to me. You did not give me no, no apology or none of that shit. You didn't do none of that. You left that shit as is. But you want me to come apologize to you for calling you out your name? For disrespecting you, but you disrespected me first. I don't have a problem with apologizing to you. But, but you my did thing, it. But you did but it. But my thing is. But you did it and you but, still have it. But you keep, you got these motherfuckers out here talking about apologize to her, apologize to her. When she was the one that started the shit in the beginning. D'Angelo, you, no, let's be honest. I sent you that message after you had talked to me crazy. I, Ma called me and then she was telling me, y'all crazy. I seen that video, that skit. I was talking to her. Not loud, not kiki Yes, she was asleep. I was mindful. I turned around. You, why the fuck you on the phone and you see I'm motherfucking sleep? Damn, you ain't got no respect. You That's don't. how you was talking to me. So you how you, you so you're like, not wrong. Man, come on, you're bro. not wrong. I'm, I'm sleep, bro. You're not and wrong. I talked to you about that before. Do you want it? Because you, you and Duda used to do the shit all the time. I'll be in there sleep. Stop y'all bringing come, him up. Y'all come turn on the light. Y'all be in there having a whole loud conversation and I'm sleeping. I'm like, damn, y'all don't have, y'all have no type of common courtesy. I'm in here sleeping. But man. you play the game and you do whatever you got to do and I'm supposed to just sleep through it and I'll be like, no, that's you mean that go right. get you something to cover your eyes, fam? Because when I try to take the game in the living room before, no, I don't, I don't take the game in there. Leave it in the room because as long as you at the foot of the bed, I feel safe. I'm okay. Like, come on, bro. Like, you be, bro, you be having double standards. Bro. No, you my thing is, he me, was bro. rude to me from at first when when my head called. He was rude when he woke up and he was like, damn, motherfucker. Like, he couldn't be like, babe, you see, I'm sleep. Why you ain't going to the living room? But that's he could have said that. We but had you could have said that, right? Times, you could have said that, right? We had the conversation multiple times. Why I got to get reminding you? Why do I gotta keep reminding you when I'm you really already like, know? This is draining. Oh, you smoking dope, bro. God damn, bro. Motherfucker gotta keep repeating themselves. Re- keep repeating themselves. Keep repeating myself. Like but I said, you're not taking I, understand. I, I for do take you... accountability. Yes, I could have. But why? When I gotta keep repeating myself, folks. When I keep telling you, Dewana, don't yes, disrespect but... me. Don't disrespect me, Dewana. If you see I'm asleep, please have common courtesy. If you want to talk on the phone, go in the next room and do that. Go in the next room and do that. But then I ask you something simple as take the game in the living room. No, I'm not doing that. No, I'm not doing that because I was in there first. I was in there first, fam. I was in there first minding my own business and you come in there again provoking, fam. All I said was, can't you take that no, in the living room? No, I can't. I said, no, I can't. And you said, why and, you okay, just can't? And just like when you said, why you on the phone? Wow. I didn't go in the living room. So why can't I say what you say? 
It's okay yeah. for you to say it, but it's me. Just, it's just a competition with you, bro. I'm not. You ain't got shit I want. It's a competition. Let's be you. honest. I'm yeah, not in competition it ain't be with you. I want. It's about having motherfucking power. You a control freak, nigga. Damn. No, you want to have power. It's always about who right, who wrong with you. No, it's not. Yes, it is. That's no, what this not. is now. What makes sense? Man, come on, bro. What makes sense, Lo? Right, us still being together or us separating? What makes All sense? Right, bro. What makes sense? Right, Did you you like to be toxic? How am I being toxic? You I'm like asking. Bro. Why are you okay? Okay. No, I don't. All I said was when he got, when, when my head called, when he, instead of him waking up saying, man, you could have went in the living room or something. He said, motherfucker, you could win it. And it's like, okay. So when I react and speak like that, you don't see no wrong in that. You was, he, and then he said, yeah, I was wrong, but, but it's like, okay, don't say I, I disrespected you first. Cause I didn't, I was on the phone. Yeah, I could have went in the living room, but I didn't think of it went right then there because we wasn't talking loud and stuff. So I didn't think to go in the living room. But then he wake up and then he get mad because I'm on the phone. No, he wasn't mad that I was on the phone. He was mad that I didn't go in the living room. That's why. But instead of him saying, okay, do you want to this, that, and the third, I feel like he could have, just like he expected me to say, or just like he expected me to get up and go in the living room, or he expected me to, or I, just like... He expected me to talk to him with respect. I expected him to talk to me with respect. Babe, you couldn't. Now, babe, you see I'm asleep. Or based on some, some, or do you want to this, that, and third? He woke up angry. <laughs> I didn't wake up angry. You was irritating me all that day anyway. Because you be constantly coming at me with gay I shit. Ask, I know. I asked you about You constantly be playing and shit. You be playing with motherfuckers don't feel like you I playing. really feel, you know what, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. I really feel like you really are losing respect for me. And you really... Just you losing respect for yourself again. All you no, want to do not. is respect. respect myself. See, you see this shit? You see how you keep going around and shit? You said I keep I'm, telling you, you, you using respect I keep for yourself. You I tell what you I'm the not. issue is. I keep telling you what the issue is. Respect my boundaries and respect me as a fucking man, and don't talk to me like I'm a fucking child. And we won't have issues. We don't have issues until you cross the line. Every time. This shit is toxic, Diwana. Why don't you see that shit? I keep giving you the blueprint, like, bro, I, like, nigga, literally, on some Enaya shit, bro. I literally give you the play, bro, who? and you be dropping the ball. Enaya. Who is that? What do you mean? Uh, old girl with the, uh, with the one song. She be oh, making Inaya the song. Lamine. Inaya. Yeah. Yes, bro. I literally give you the plays, bro, and you drop the ball every time. You always go around what I'm telling you the issue is. That's toxic, bro. If I keep telling you, do you want it? This is the problem. This is the problem. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's this. It's this. It's this. Like, bro, I'm telling you what the issue is. I'm giving you the blueprint. You keep going around my fucking feelings. You keep going around what I'm telling you because you think you know best. When I'm communicating with you, I'm telling you what the and issue is. I tell is. you what my issues are, but why do you think to throw them back to me to remind oh, you, hello? Oh, bro. Because when you try to get on fucking social media and you try to expose me, you try, to, not, end, you try never, to embarrass me. If I was exposing you, they'd know or not. All right, Diwana. It ain't really shit to expose, bro. It ain't really shit to expose. Because I'm quite sure whatever the fuck you gonna say, they go through to go through the shit too. No, that no, it so would it make more sense. Expose. It ain't shit to expose. Everything makes sense. If I was, if the shoe was on the other foot, you was in Georgia, well established, and I was here, and I'm coming there, and you got a YouTube channel, and and you telling me how it worked and stuff like that, and I and I ain't got no job for three months, or I ain't got no type of money oh for the three God, months. Bro. You you gonna look at me? Why like, do man. you keep going around? Shit, bro. It's, it's not going around you, it. It is. You want to keep going, bro. When I just keep saying, respect no, my boundaries, I'm saying man. If you make sense, oh it makes sense. Oh my god. If bro. I was you, you if see, you, y'all see what I'm saying? It's all about no, who right and who wrong. If I was on, if the shoe, it's not about who right and who wrong. Why is we still talking about this shit, bro? 
when it's just simple, just respect boundaries. I you am. Know? So why you keep bringing this shit up, bro? You keep talking, you toxic, bro. No, I'm not. I'm making it make sense. If right. I came to Georgia. All right, but we not. That's not the situation. We here in fucking Texas, But you Texas, told bro. me. You was like. Come on, no, man. No, I'm making it make sense. Man. If the shoe was on the other foot. I'm fin- I'm done with this shit, bro. Because this there's no way around this shit with you, bro. You keep trying to just be who right around when I keep saying, just respect my boundaries and don't talk to me like I'm a fucking kid and we will be fine, bro. You keep going. You keep making up scenarios and shit. That's not you a scenario. That's shit, a situation bro. that happened with us. Oh, my God, bro. And you know, yes, that's why shit. That's why you said, you said, I'm exposing you. I oh did. I said, God. if I was to expose you, they would know. And you said, anything that they going to know, they probably been through it already. And that's why I brought bro, it up. Bro, you keep going in circles, bro. Would you just stop I feel like, we, like, I really feel like we need to separate permanently, oh dude. Oh, my God, bro. Because why? You don't want to respect boundaries. No, because you really don't see the best in me, bro. Oh, bro. I'm, I, you you making yourself look bad. I keep telling you, do you want to stop? I don't care about social media. I'm not talking about social media. Before. I'm telling you to stop, do you want to? Stop, do you want to? Just respect my boundaries. And I asked you, where do we go from here? Mm, and I said, and you said, you just need to learn how to respect me. I said, okay, okay. me doing that, what are you going to do? You can't fucking tell me. What you mean what I'm going to do? I'm going to do what I've been doing, Diwana. Fuck else you want me to do? You're not going to do for the better. What you mean for the better? Fuck is you talking about? Fuck is you talking about? I'm doing what the fuck I need to do. Whatever it is that you want to do, do it. Why do we have a child? Man, just go, bro. Like, you so toxic, Diwana. I asked you a simple question. You were so fucking toxic, bro. I don't get so it, me, bro. So me asking you why we have a child is toxic? What you mean why we have a child? This is our love child. The fuck? This is the last addition to the fucking Tony family. What you mean why did we have a child? That don't mean, that ain't got nothing to do with you respecting boundaries and you respecting me as a man. That ain't got nothing to do with that, bro. It don't have nothing to do with that. I'm here through thick and thin, fam. But at the end of the day, you can't get mad or feel some type of way because I'm standing on my boundaries. We're standing on how you respect me. You can't get mad at me for that. You want a divorce over that? Because I'm standing on what the fuck I feel, which Can is I true. Can I say a divorce? I'm not saying, I'm saying, bro, you're talking about separating all this other shit. Why? Because all I'm asking you to do is just respect my boundaries. Respect me as a man. Don't talk to me like I'm a child. That's all I'm asking you to do. And it won't be no respect. You, you want respect, you got to give me something to respect. You can't be sitting up here disrespecting me when the fuck you feel like it and then just expecting me to just walk away with like a dog with my tail between my ass. Like, no, nah, I'm not going like that. And you should know that. You know what triggers me. And you know but what do you avoid me it? you do it. But do you avoid it? Yes, yes, I trigger you after the fact you trigger me because it's like, fuck how I feel. You, you just going to do this shit anyway. I thought I told you multiple times not to do that shit. So, okay, again, don't throw rocks and hide your hand, you wanna. That shit is not cool, bro. Don't start shit and then expect them motherfucker not to retaliate back, folks. That shit not cool, bro. What what world and what neighborhood did you grow up in where that shit was cool? Where that shit was cool, fam. Come on. Be reasonable here. Be really be reasonable here. Don't throw rocks and then hide your hand. Don't start shit, bro. Don't kick the shit off. Don't kick up dust and then try to run, folks. Like, like that shit not cool, bro. That shit not cool, Diwana. It's not. And I just really just want this shit to just be done and over with. All this shit don't even have to be at uh, how it is now. All it is is just respect boundaries. Again, you want me to respect you, I will respect you. But don't disrespect me. Don't disrespect me. Okay. Don't disrespect me. And I don't disrespect you. It's simple. It's that. It, I don't said have okay. to, it don't have to be all of this shit. You keep going on and on and on. You keep adding situations, adding situations, I'm- adding situations. That shit dead, folks. It's dead. It's dead. This shit didn't even go, ain't had to be like this. What pissed me off even more is because you woke up and you left, and then I wake up. And I see you on live. And I'm like, okay, what's she talking about? You talking about the shit that happened last night. Like, come on, like, bro, why are you still kicking this shit up, bro? Instead of you doing that, you could have went to go get some peace of mind, woo, 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 and came back and like, okay, you ready to talk? You ready to talk? No, nah, but you didn't do that. You hopped on motherfucking live entertaining these motherfuckers, man, kicking up shit from last night, bro. Like, come on, do you wanna? We supposed to be better than that, bro. You you want to get on here and expose niggas and shit, bro? Like, that I, shit I not didn't cool. expose you. And that wasn't your attention, but if you go back and watch the motherfucking replay, you done said a lot of shit that was triggering me to say the shit that I was saying. I didn't expose you. Okay. I mean, at the end of the day, it ain't nothing to expose. It's a lot I could say. Man, that, that, that can hurt to you. Expose, fam. That can hurt to expose, you. Fam. It's, it's but what you saying, when you say... The, 
I need you to understand the definition of the words that you choose. Okay? What's expose mean? Expose is expose meaning some ditty shit. This uh, Illuminati shit, like you trying to throw all that dirty laundry out there. That's what you did to me. I know the fuck I did it. When you said this, why these niggas right, be doing yeah. that to you? This is why motherfuckers oh. do you the way they you mad because I could talk to Thank my mom and you. Thank can't... you, Cupcake D. Don't get it. Thank you. You don't get it, bro. Okay, well, why are we still here? Because I don't understand, bro. We still here because I I love your ass. But it's just you so caught on your you fucking can feelings love and your emotions. From a distance. You so caught on your emotions and your feelings, fam. We don't that you're not seeing like the this. bigger picture, fam. You're not seeing the bigger picture. Because you're so caught up on your emotions and it's crazy, folks. It's crazy. It's crazy. You want to be separated. You want to have a night, like, bro. No, we're not peace doing of that. Mind. We're not doing it. You be having peace of mind, Dwan. I don't start shit with you. So I don't even know why you won't here acting like I just be taking you through the ringer, fam. Like I just be stressing you the fuck out. Everybody seeing you glowing. That's because I don't put you through shit, Diwana. Like, come on, bro. Y'all motherfuckers sit up there and tell her all day you beautiful, your hair growing, all that shit. Like, yeah, the uh, the meal and all that shit play a part, but fam, I don't put Diwana through nothing, fam. I don't be out here stressing her out, fam. Nigga, I love my life with everything. I love my wife with everything in me. I love my wife with everything in me. That's why she growing like that, because I don't put her through bullshit. The shit that she said, I put y'all through that shit petty, fam. It's petty ass shit. And it's all about she feel like her feelings not being hurt. When your feelings is being hurt. If I disagree with it, it's okay for me to disagree with some shit. You don't disagree with everything that I do. You're right. I don't disagree with everything you do. Okay, so why you do like shit? We don't agree on everything. It's okay. You got a different POV. I got a different POV. And we can't come to the to uh terms to where we can uh get to where we both can see a, a, a point of view to where we could both like get a better understanding. It, it maybe it's not meant for us at that time to, to worry about that. We got we gonna come back to that. But it's like if you want to fix shit right then and there, like dude, like right now ain't a good time for that shit right now. Right now, I'm mad, you mad. We're gonna say some shit that we don't really need to say. It's gonna go further than what it needs to go. And then now we got this big ass spill that we need to like come on, bro. It, it just got to stop with the ongoing shit. It's ongoing. We dealing with one situation. One situation turning into multiple situations because you want to keep bringing other shit until we arguing about this one specific thing and you bring everything else into this one argument. Like, dog, that shit toxic, bro. Why we just can't handle one topic at one situation at once? Let's deal with this right here first. And then if, it is, and then if there's some other shit that's bothering you, okay, then we can address it at a later time. That could be the next thing we can work on. But if we arguing about this or we have a disagreement about this, don't keep adding shit to it, adding shit to it, because it, it's going to constantly be this. We going in fucking circles. You keep repeating yourself about the same thing. And it get irritating. That shit is draining, Diwana. You got to learn to let go. You're right. I do. And I am. I don't be want no smoke with you. Like I, I feel like I need to stop expressing myself to you, too. When it comes to certain things, because I don't like that you bring it back up as a reminder. That don't make me feel good, D'Angelo. All right. Because you're just being stubborn. I'm telling you. That's not being stubborn. That's not. That's me. No, that's not. No, that's not. You stop. You being stubborn. No, I'm not. Because I don't want to. I don't want to mention certain stuff. Because I don't want you to get mad. And bring it up <coughs> and remind me. <coughs> that's not me being stubborn. That's me protecting my feelings. Okay, Dewana. Protecting myself from being hurt by the someone Dewana. I care about. Dewana. But if we stick to one situation, because you don't understand that you be throwing shots in the process of whatever point you're trying to make. You throw low blows too. And that'd be the shit that trigger it. Because you're There's not seeing, you're so, not seeing what you're not so, seeing it. So the low blows that I throw, I don't Dewana. feel like I don't look at Dewana. them as low blows, obviously. Dewana. That's the problem. That's I don't the, look at them the like that. Too. When but I'm taking that, accountability stating that I throw low blows, but I don't look at them as low blows because I know that that really don't phase And you. I took accountability Mama. too. I told you, you take it as me down talking you. I'm not down talking you. I'm being honest with you. I'm telling you the truth. You be wanting me to sugarcoat shit. If, if a motherfucker really care about your feelings and they really care about you, they not going to lie to you. They not going to sugarcoat that shit. They going to keep it real with you and tell you how it, how it is. So you can re, uh, get the reality of things and, and, and understand so you won't be out here looking goofy. That's a real friend. That's a real husband. That's a real boyfriend, girlfriend, all that shit. They're going to keep it real with you. They're going to keep it real with you. Because I really care about your feelings. I really care about your image. I really care. 
So I'm going to keep it real with you. But the truth know. ain't always pretty, Demona, and that's what you got to understand. If you care about it don't my always come, it, the, the truth don't always come with a bow. It don't always come with cake frosting and confetti. The truth hurts. You're right. The truth do hurt. But at the same time, that truth gives you a, a dose of fucking reality that makes you better. Now you got all these motherfuckers on here cheering, that cheering for our downfall, bro. That shit crazy. Right, and that's why a lot of y'all ain't got no fucking men now. Y'all keep blaming the men. Y'all keep blaming men, 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 men. Oh, niggas ain't shit. Niggas ain't shit. But y'all ain't never taking the time to look in the mirror and check and see what the fuck y'all need to got going on. It can't be all men that just ain't doing y'all right, bro. Come on, bro. Y'all women be so fucking delusional, bro. Y'all motherfuckers be straight motherfucking narcissists. Y'all be the number one narcissist. Y'all be the number one bullies, fam. It's always the nigga. It's always the nigga. Like, y'all don't do shit. Like, come on, bro. Y'all don't take no accountability for shit, bro. Again, I don't be wanting no smoke with you, D1. I don't be wanting no smoke with you. But if you don't want me disrespecting you, you have to give me respect. You have to give me respect, and you have to give me respect that I deserve. You don't see the hurt that you be putting me through. You only see what you feel I'm causing you. And that shit don't be cool, bro. It's not cool. I don't want to have you out here bad. I don't... I, you got on live. You did this shit. Not me. I don't want no smoke with you. I never want no smoke with you. I want peace at home. But you got to stop taking everything so literal without getting confirmation. Okay, is this what we really doing? Is this what we're doing? If, y if I'm not giving you the confirmation on it and we didn't discuss and agree like this is what we doing, you can't take it literal. We just having conversation. We hypothetically speaking. And it's just like you. I don't know, baby. I don't want no smoke, bro. I don't want no smoke. I don't want no smoke. Like I said, I'm trying to break generational curses. Tonight will grow grow up in a household with her mother and daddy in the same fucking household under one roof. That's happening. In a way, we feel our other kids. In another way, we feel our other kids. But this, can I, no, this one, she's, she gonna be right. I'm not saying that our other kid is not right, but I'm saying, I feel like we doing it right this time. We married, we got shit together, and our marriage is not toxic, bro. It's not. It's just that you have to learn to let stuff go and respect boundaries, just like I respect your boundaries. I've been being nothing but patient, but when you cross the line, and I just don't understand how you can just keep poking, 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 and not expect anybody to explode. I done took a lot of shit before I even got to this point. And you may say, oh, you took a lot of shit, but be one of them, honestly, fam, like, out of, out of what they going through, I, they probably getting cheated on, they getting their ass beat, niggas stealing from them, niggas, like, they can't get their nigga to do nothing. They can't, they can't even get their nigga to do half of the shit that I do. 
I don't be putting you through shit, fam, and for me to be getting disrespected like that. Anything that you ask me for, I'm there. You got, you feel like you entitled. Oh, so, like, I don't, don't feel like you're entitled. Don't feel like you're entitled because I don't feel like I'm entitled. I don't feel like I'm entitled to anything. We had this conversation before. I know that you, my wife, I want to see you do good. I want to see you shine on motherfuckers. I want to see you shine on the motherfuckers that's hating on you and praying on your downfall. That's why I support you the way I do. Y'all ain't got a supporter. I got her. And she going to shine on y'all motherfuckers. She going to drop a big ass bag on y'all head. That's how I look at shit. I never try to take anything from you. And you know I haven't. I never tried to finesse you, swindle, none of that shit. I never retaliated to the shit that you did to me. We ain't going to talk about that. We ain't going to talk about that. But I never retaliated. Only thing I have ever done was stood my motherfucking ground is talk my shit when I know I'm right. That's the only thing I ever done to you. I never been petty with you. Never did none of that goofy ass shit. I ain't cut your phone off. I ain't do none of that shit. I ain't do none of that childish ass shit. All I did was stand on my shit and, 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 and believe in what the fuck I was saying. I never retaliated to none of the shit you've done. Even when, even when I'm mad or I, I don't retaliate. I just walk away. I love you too much, Demona. That's why I'm still here. I don't want to use you for nothing. I ain't been using you. You know I haven't. So what I'm going to do is, is continue to do what I've been doing. And then be here for my family. Go to work and come home. When I come across some shit... I'm going to come across some shit and I'm going to do it to the fullest, like I always do.
So you just want to sit here and tell them? I don't know what to say. Well, first off, I apologize for calling you out your name. I do apologize for that. I'm not going to put no butt behind it. But it took a lot for me to get there. It took a lot for me to get there to say that. So you have to understand that 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 really took a lot because I never called you called you out your name before. I never called you out your name before. It took me a lot to get to there. But I'm gonna continue to respect you. I'm just asking you that you do not disrespect me and just respect my boundaries. If we could do that. Like, we good. Like, I don't want no smoke with you. When I'm asking you to just give me some space and just let me be off like talking about it right now, be one is to avoid disrespecting you. It's avoid to get in an attitude with you. It's not to shut you out and I just don't want to hear what you got to say. It's the fact I just need to calm down first. Let me calm down first so I can be on mutual ground so I can uh, so I can hear what you're saying. And if you do that, we we good. Like we good. But again, I apologize for calling you out your name. I do. Okay. So you apologize for calling me on my name, but you don't apologize for reminding me of some of the trauma. I apologize for the for if I if I, if I, if I triggered something or whatever the case may be. I apologize. I apologize for that. I do apologize for that too. But again, don't throw rocks and hide your hand. If you don't want it done to you, don't do it to me. You got to treat people how you want to be treated. So if you don't want it done to you, don't do it to other people. Because you got some people that will fight back, bro. You gotta keep that in mind. If you don't want that, if you don't want that smoke, don't, 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 don't start the fire. Don't do that. Don't do that. But I apologize for whatever trigger or whatever the case may be. But it wasn't really to down talk you or make you feel little i'm literally trying to show you the difference of what you used to dealing with and what what's the difference with me because how else am i supposed to get you to understand and how else am i supposed to see you to get you to look at my point of view we can't do that when we both angry we both throwing shots it ain't gonna work that's why you, you, it's okay to just walk away sometimes you gotta pick your battles just walk away sometimes sometimes you gotta let shit die down and that's what I did today. I picked my battle and left. No, but, but then out. you started another battle when you got on live versus you coming home and uh, are you ready to talk? Now, if you came home and was like, are you ready to talk? And then I still was on bullshit. Then, okay, cool. Y'all, you could have got on live and, and did your whole little, you know what I'm saying, one, two step. But you ain't even, you didn't even make that an option. You literally just woke up and you planned that shit. Like, I'm finna go out and I'm finna go get on live. You didn't have no attention on fixing that shit with me. Like, that's why I be saying that's drama right there. You're starting shit. You make situations. Sometimes you make situations worse with your decisions because you're reacting off your emotions. Like I said, if you would have woke up and went to go do you, called me, text me, you up yet, woo, 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 and came home and was like, hey, you ready to talk? You ain't even tried. Last night, I didn't say much to you because that was some bullshit. I didn't know you was going to get on live and do some shit like that. I thought you was going to get on there and like, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, we keeping it real. We keeping it authentic. I thought you was just going to be on there and be like, okay, y'all, like, y'all see, we everything just ain't paradise between D and Low. Like, we have our issues. We have our ups and downs. You get what I'm saying? I'm thinking you're going to get on there and really 
talk some uplifting shit to them women and you get what I'm saying? And, and just marriages in general. But then you get on there throwing shots, bro. And I'm just supposed to be quiet? I'm just supposed to take that shit? Like, come on, that shit not cool, bro. You was irritated. So you, you, and you, you, again, bro, you kicked up the shit. You started the fire. You made it worse than what it was already was. Well, I can say that um, I do apologize for um, if you felt I disrespected you. Um, if you feel I don't respect your boundaries, um, if you feel that whenever I cook, it, cook is not something you're used to, is me being lazy, um, just apologizing for me overall. But, um, I just feel like this is like me apologizing. It's just going to be hard for me to really like And this is me not knowing how to let go. Because it's still going to be playing in my head from time to time. And I just. Oh no. Like I do apologize. But it's like I didn't expect you to say. A I, didn't, lot. I didn't expect you to say a lot either. Do you want to? I think the worst was you calling me a bitch. And it's just like when you said it. I felt like you were speaking something else. And I was just like trying to register what you said to me. And I feel like at that point, you lost respect for me, but I feel like I'm blaming myself for certain things that I shouldn't. Because when I speak up or when you tell me to speak my mind and I do, even though it comes off wrong, I'm still trying to express myself to you. Because at that point, when I express myself, I'm, um, I'm already angry at it. I'm already frustrated. But that's when you're supposed to take some time to where you can calm down to where we can talk reasonably and not from your emotions. That's why it's okay. You ain't got to address this situation once you feel like, okay, you disrespected or you feel like, okay, this ain't going to go where I thought it was going to go. I'm just going to fall back. You know what? We Can we just revisit the situation? Can we just come back and talk about it later? And we that's what we normally used to do. When we sensed that it was tension, we were sensing that it was tension. We would switch the subject and we'd start cracking jokes or some shit or we'd go do something to occupy our time so we wouldn't be so, you know what I'm saying, stuck on it. That's what we used to do. But, you know, I don't be starting shit with you, D-Wanna. I don't be starting shit with you. I don't start shit with you. I don't nag, I don't bitch, I don't complain about nothing until you trying to jump on me about something that, come on, man, it's, it's just, it just be the hypocritical stuff that really bothers me, the double standard stuff that really bothers me. It's like, it's okay for you to do it, but then you down talk somebody else that do it. Like, come on, that shit not cool. I don't be liking stuff like that. To me, that's not real. I don't like stuff like that. That's always been a pet peeve of mine. How you gonna talk about the next person? But you doing it. Like, what? Like, why, why is it okay for you to do it then? But they can't do it. Like, that, uh, that, that, that's some, just something I just don't never understand and just never sit right with me. I don't like people like that. And I'm not saying that I don't like you. 
That's just a, a trait that you have or a characteristic that you have. I just don't like that characteristic that you do that. But that don't mean that I don't want to be with you. That don't mean I want to divorce you. That don't mean I hate you. Because ain't nobody perfect. Ain't nobody that's in this chat. Ain't nobody that's married. I don't care for 30 plus years. All that. Ain't nobody perfect. Everybody, they still, even, even people that's married 30 years, they still learning their other spouse. They still learning each other. But they made it that light, that, that long because they respect each other's boundaries. They love each other enough to respect boundaries. Not treat them like they just some randomized boyfriend or girlfriend and just, you know what I'm saying, try to shine on them. Or make them feel small. That's just one thing you just don't do with a man. Don't try to make a man feel small. Especially but, if he if he ain't doing what he's supposed to do. If he ain't doing nothing at all. You got every right to shine on that nigga. You got every right to get off on that nigga. But when you got niggas out here that really be taking care of home, fam. Y'all got to put more respect on them niggas, man. Them niggas do a lot. Niggas be out here with temptation hard as a motherfucker. But niggas strong enough and got that shit together to come home and make sure home is taken care of. Because it's a lot of niggas out here that just do whatever they want to do. Regardless if they married or not. But y'all really be having stand-up men out here, family. Y'all y'all really be, like, I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to them. Y'all really be making niggas go bad. Like, good guy go bad, family. Y'all wonder why niggas be dogs. It start with a female every time. Niggas turn out that way because of female. Every time. Every time. I just want to go back to where if we sense this tension, we don't even let it get there because I don't be wanting no smoke with you. Like, I already know you tough, fam. Like, I already know you just ain't finna let nobody walk over you. I already know that. So I don't even try to. And it's just like, if I can respect that and I know that about you, I expect you to know that and respect that about me. You know I ain't no soft ass nigga. You know I ain't no bum ass. You know none of that. So don't even speak on my name like that. Don't even play with it like that. Because I don't do that shit to you. You already know. I showed you much. I've been nothing but loyal. I've been nothing but loyal. I'm just going to apologize for every fucking thing. I'm going to apologize for you feeling like I, I snuck to talk to your mama for three hours. Which it wasn't in the sneak. Like, I'm really, like, trying to get an understanding of Diwana. Listen, I'm no, not listen, listen, no, can listen, I listen. Talk? Can I Hold let on. me finish? I can understand I understand the situation with you and your mama. Okay, I get that and I understand that. But you have to understand where I'm coming from. Okay? Who knows Diwana better than, than me? Who knows Diwana better than me? The woman that birthed her. You stayed with her long enough to be raised by her. So to where she know how to deal with you. You get what I'm saying? To where it's not no conflict and all that. And as we talk, we talked about we talked about the most high. We talked about the Bible. We really talked about the most high and the Bible more than we talked about you. But when she's I seen that she was talking about you and she really didn't have your uh, best interest at heart, I cut that shit short. But I told you that. Okay. You still I, wanted to listen to it. Well, I didn't what you mean? Listen to it. I needed to talk, I needed somebody to talk to spiritual. Because when I came to when I when I come to you, talk to you about the Bible and all that other shit, you 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 you, you try to embarrass me. You try to embarrass me. When I kind of try to come talk to you about the most high and all that other shit, you don't be want to talk about it. it let me so who you. else can I call and talk to and talk about it? Okay, my 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 mama Rhonda can talk about it. She knows she know about the Bible. Babe, I'm not done talking. You got to understand where I'm coming from. I heard where you, where you was coming from. You tried to warn me, okay, whatever. But at the end of the day, regardless of whatever she said, it still didn't change how I felt about my wife because I was still, I still was there. And when I seen that she didn't have your best interest at hand, I never talked to her again. I never called her and asked her to vent none of that shit. I never called her again because she ain't got my wife's best interest at hand. But my thing is, I told you, you went and seen it for yourself. But if I was, but this is a, why do you keep trying I'm to making, prove that point? Why I'm, do you keep trying to prove I'm, it? If I'm, but I'm making, even even if you prove the point, Diwana, I still it, nothing changed. Nothing changed. I seen it for myself. Okay, I got to see it for myself firsthand. That don't that don't mean that it, you make me feel bad for it. No, I did that shit. Okay, I see she ain't got your best interest, but I still riding with my wife. Okay, no, nah, no, nah, that ain't cool. That ain't cool. My wife is not always like that. My wife then got a whole lot better. And she ain't trying to hear that shit. Okay, I see you ain't got my wife's best interest in hand. Then I'm falling back then. I didn't call her to uh, go against you and and, and, and start a I hate you on a uh, train. No, I didn't. Because just like you feel like you can't come to me and talk to me sometimes, you make me feel that same way. I can't come talk to you. 
Because if I come talk to you, it ain't going to be no understanding. I'm not going to get the understanding. You're going to laugh. You're going to joke. You're going to crack jokes and shit. And you're going to be little with niggas. So what's the point of coming talking to you if I know you finna take me through that? Then I'm gonna get into a rage, and then you know what I'm saying? We gonna be we gonna be beefing. So again, it just ain't me making you feel like you can't come talk to me. Shit, you make me feel like I can't come talk to you either. So it just can't be all up on me, fam. It can't be all up on me. I take accountability for my shit, but I'm not. I can't be there. How you want me to be be there mentally if you disrespecting me? That play a big role with me is the respect. Man, all y'all can go jump off a fucking building, brother. That's what all y'all can do. A lot of y'all are depressed and miserable any motherfucking way. Y'all want to see bad and drama. Because any other motherfucking time, niggas ain't never hit no 327 people in one motherfucking live. So a lot of you motherfuckers that's in here, y'all ain't doing nothing but trolling any motherfucking way, bro. Go suck an A dick on the G. Any other time motherfuckers ain't here, motherfuckers don't even be watching videos and shit, but motherfuckers in here got plenty of shit to say. Fuck out of here, bro. Oh, motherfuckers. Oh, she ain't here, bro. Motherfuckers got plenty of shit to say, but don't even be here supporting for real. Fuck out of here. All y'all, y'all, y'all motherfuckers in here is trolls anyway. Y'all just want to see a motherfucker out here bad because y'all ain't got shit going. Y'all ain't got no motherfucking body in y'all motherfucking corner because y'all fucking everybody else, man. Dumbass broads. Get y'all miserable boy ass up out of here. Y'all motherfuckers ain't been in here. But when motherfuckers in here talking to peace, and, 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 and talking uplifting ass shit, motherfuckers ain't the motherfuckers ain't nowhere to be found. Fuck out of here. You shut up. Get the fuck out of here, dumbass broad. Yeah, the disrespect comes when y'all give off disrespect. Yeah, y'all don't know shit about neither one of us, but y'all got plenty shit to say. Y'all ignorant as fuck. Nobody got caught cheating. I don't cheat. Fuck, what's wrong with y'all? I can say that shit live, nigga. I can go on all platforms, nigga, and say, I ain't fucking off on my wife, nigga. Ain't nobody gonna come forward and say shit. Nigga, I go to work and take care of my home. I go to work and take care of home, nigga. A lot of something that you niggas need to be doing. Fuck y'all got going on. Everybody got an opinion and shit. But anyway, I apologize for talking to your mama, even though you felt like, because you felt I went behind your back, and that wasn't to go behind your back. It's because I didn't have nobody to talk to, and I wanted to talk religion. I want to talk, not religion, but I want to talk about the most high. And you, you're you not always, you know what I'm saying, up to have a conversation about the most high. But like I said, like I told you before, and that shit was months ago, and I'm telling you the truth. Like, literally, we talked about more about the Most High and we talked about the Bible more than we talked about you. Because when I kept, you know what I'm saying, trying to, like, tell her how much of a progress that you have made, she wasn't hearing that shit. So when I kept seeing, okay, same shit, just like that shit with Momo now. When we went there uh, for Rasta uh, birthday party and Momo kept shouting out everybody but D-Lari. I'm in the motherfucking lot. Everybody phone D-Lari, D-Lari. Because I ride by my motherfucking wife. I know my vows. I know what I stood on. I know what I meant. I know what, what I said. I know what I meant when I said I do. I'm going to ride this motherfucker till the wheels fall off. Or until you give me no choice. That shit, we ain't got no choice but the divorce. Like, literally, I'm all in. 
ain't no motherfucking little argument or you disrespecting me. You get what I'm saying? Go make me just be like, okay, I don't want to do this shit no more. But when you start playing games and shit, and you start like making it feel like, you know what I'm saying? You really finna be on bullshit? Then come on, bro. I don't know how you expect a person to act. I don't know how you supposed to expect a person to take it. But I apologize for, for that. It wasn't to, like I said, it wasn't to start a train that I hate D. Larry. Like, no, nah, I ain't going for that shit. I ain't going for that. Regardless of how mad I am at you, can't nobody change how I feel about you but you. And I told you that. And I don't care how mad I am at you, I'm never finna do no disloyal ass shit. I ain't finna go out here and cheat on you. I ain't finna do none of that. I ain't finna call a motherfucker and blast you, expose you, none of that shit. I'm not doing that. Like when I called my mama, I didn't call my mama to bash you or none of that shit. I was just like, mom, I need somebody to talk to. I need to vent. Like, this is what's going on. This is what I'm going through. It wasn't to, you know what I'm saying, bash you or no shit. I'm never bashing you. You my fucking wife. I'm not going to bash you. I don't move like that. Um, I apologize for it. Um, Bringing up your past. But again, it wasn't to bring up your past to hurt you. It's just like a reminder of like, hey, this is what you was going through when you were dealing with this person. Like, you ain't dealing with that with me over here. So you get what I'm saying? Like, at least put a little bit of respect on my shit. Like, don't don't come at me how you would come at them. Like, they deserve that shit. They deserve that. Like, I don't deserve that. Like, I, I deserve a little bit more respect. Because I'm the opposite of what you was going through. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just need you to understand it from that point of view. And 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 a lot of it too, you gotta you gotta take accountability on it because you said you can't take constructive criticism because it's from me, because I'm your husband. So you take everything to the heart, like you take everything literal. So that's like really not a me thing. That's not a me issue. That's something that you got to work on because I tell you all the time, like, I'm not saying this to down you. I'm not saying this to belittle you. Like, I'm just trying to show you the facts. Like, I'm just being real with you because I care about your feelings. I'm just being real with you. But it's you that have a hard time taking constructive criticism from me, no matter how I give it to you, because we didn't have plenty of conversations to where we talking just like this. And you take it and you literally run with it and turn it to something else. Like, bro, we was cool. We was chilling. Like, we just having conversation. I apologize for not making you feel like you don't have nobody to, to talk to. Or I apologize for making you feel like you can't come talk to me. You can't come talk to me. You can't come talk to me, but you just gotta, you know what I'm saying? Like, scan the room first. Like, if you see my energy ain't really there, or you see I'm irritated or I'm agitated, like, maybe that's not a good time to address it. Maybe that's not a good time to address it, because I, I, I already be dealing with a lot of stuff. I deal with things just like you deal with things, and I don't think that you take that into consideration. I do. Like, mentally, like, mentally, I be need to escape, too. I literally be needing to escape too. I mean, I feel like that's strong. Everything else, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know exactly what all made you feel some type of way or what are you feel I need to apologize for, but just overall, I just apologize in general. Like, I don't want no smoke with you. I don't want no smoke with you. I just want to be respected just like you want to be respected. That's it. Yeah. I'm sorry, all right. We don't have to, I don't want to keep going through this. Because it don't have to be this way. Okay. No? Mm hmm So you want to continue to be stubborn? No. 
Mm-hmm. So you didn't want to do what you said? What? Do what I said what? You respect your boundaries and respect... No, I'm not talking about that. You said you wanted to go, um, I don't know. Just never mind. Just never mind. So what did I say I want to do? Let's never mind, do one thing. Because now I'm calm and level headed, and I'm, I'm I'm meeting you on your grounds, and you still giving attitude. I asked I, you I, what I'm you, apologizing. you said. Do you want to still go I do what you said? I constantly keep apologizing. What do I want to go do? And you still want to give attitude, bro. Like, all right. What do I want to go do? Um, um it don't matter. I'm finna go play with Duda, man. That's what I'm about to do. I'm finna go play with Duda, man. I came. I met you on your turf. I apologize. Okay, and I apologize Whatever you feel too. that I, I hurt you and, and or made you feel less than or whatever the case may be, and you still got attitude. No, I don't. All right. I just said, I, I told you I apologize, but I said certain things that I apologize about, that's me still holding on to stuff because it's going to replay in my head. I don't know what more to say to you. I, I, I don't. I, I, I'd rather stay blank and not say nothing than say something and I really am not apologetic for it. I don't know what to say. That's not me not apologizing. That's just me saying, I don't know. I don't know what to apologize more. Like I said, I apologize for stepping over your boundaries, disrespecting you if you felt disrespected for any type of reason retaliating and antagonizing you trying to be a man and a woman for being a bully for being delusional if you felt i was ever disloyal for not supporting you the way you wanted me to support you in, in that way Like, I'm not going to apologize for stuff that I just feel strongly like I shouldn't apologize for. It. So I don't have a list full because I don't. I, I, I just don't. If I did, I would tell you, like, I shouldn't have did that. I shouldn't have said that. I apologize about that. I'm apologizing for stuff that already has got put out on media behind closed doors, too. I'm not, like I said, I'm going to keep saying, I'm not apologizing for stuff I'm not, I am I know that I don't sit well with me. I don't have to go into detail about stuff like that. But publicly, I do apologize for overstepping my boundaries, trying to, if I felt like I was trying to be your mom, or if I felt like you just came home and it was just toxic, or if you feel like I'm just toxic, or if you feel like all I want is drama, or I, I I just need to work on myself or just stuff not right and it's just me. I'm literally going to for real go to therapy because it's like I, I don't want to keep holding on to stuff. And we can go back to marriage counseling. I said I ain't want to do it because I was pissed off last night. We say you say people say things when you in your emotions, when you mad. Like it's it's like I wanna push myself away. Yeah, I feel like that sometimes, too. I feel like no, I want to push it, myself away. I feel you. like I want to get away from you, too. I feel like I want to get away from everybody. I be feeling like that sometimes, too. I want to get away from everybody. Because you got to think, Diwana, I have no friends. I never even got to step out on my own since I've been here in Texas. Everything has been, been a, a revolving around my family. And I don't think you take that into consideration. I don't even think you look at that. Like, who 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 does he have here to go out? You used to go out with your, your, your co-workers and all of that. I didn't. I didn't have the. I don't. I didn't have those privileges. You I did. know how. You with with the with your barber. Then when they was trying to get you. That to was go one out, time. Yeah, but you was like, man, I don't want to deal with that. That's they, I didn't want to deal with. They know what I'm on. I I didn't want to deal with that because they was on some bullshit. They going to go get bitches. 
I, I wasn't going to get bitches. I just wanted to go out and have a good time and have some guy time. They was going to go get women. I, I, I'm, not, I'm good on that. They ain't where my headspace said them not people I need to be around. So again, if I don't have no outlet and I don't have no family here, I don't have no friends, I don't have none of that, and everything revolve around my family, like, what's wrong with a nigga playing the game? It's keeping me at home. I ain't out here running the streets. What about what about what about my mental? What about my mental? I think about your mental. That's why it's a lot that I don't say. It's a it took you a lot for me to get on here yesterday, because had we had a conversation or had things went the other way versus mm -hmm. yesterday, but we, we, I wouldn't have been on here. And we I had a conversation. Just... You didn't have a conversation. The first thing you said, dude, you got on live. You didn't say. I'm let's really talk about how out. you really feel. Let's talk about you calling me a B or let's talk about this. Like, I, I just can't, t I can't fathom you just calling me a B. Like, you didn't try to come talk to me again. You got right on YouTube. You didn't try to talk to me. You got right on YouTube. So again, don't throw rocks and hide your hand. You be causing, you, your decision making makes okay, things worse. I took accountability. I caused drama. I caused all of this. I caused it. Okay. I, I accepted that. I, I hear you. I heard you. I'm hearing you, past, present, and future, whatever you want to say. Like, I'm hearing you. I'm understanding. I'm analyzing what you're telling me. I'm not mad. I'm not none of that. I just feel like I really, this is why I just feel like I want to be by myself at times. Sometimes I don't want to hear what you got to tell me. Sometimes I don't want to hear what somebody else got to say. Sometimes I just want to try to take it in and do it on my own. When I die... I go, I'm going by myself. Life still goes on. I'm I'm very drained from a lot. Not just with marriage, with this pregnancy I'm drained. With just how I am, I'm drained. I'm fucking drained. And that's okay for me to be drained. It's okay. It is life. But I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm not going to keep expressing how I feel. Am I going to limit myself to what I tell you? Probably. To an extent. Probably. Which is why I feel like if I have a therapist, I, I, I can vent. Because I won't feel like if they tell me something, it's going to make me feel like I'm being antagonized. I'm, I, I would know how to accept it or listen or, or you know, try to understand what they're trying to explain to me. I'm not saying it's you, 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 you. I know I play a part, which is why, okay, I'll go to counseling. I'll go. I will. Like, I don't feel bad for getting on social media and saying what was, like, being authentic. People think this is a joke and this is for a skit. This ain't no fucking skit. This not about no fucking money. This has nothing to do with it. I don't... YouTube don't pay my bills. YouTube don't... What do YouTube pay? For a vid IQ every month? YouTube don't pay rent? Am I grateful for the money we make on YouTube? Yeah. But it don't pay... It don't make me feel like I got to get on here and talk so I can get some money and get all these subscribers, uh, views just so I can get by. Bro, I love how y'all be taking y'all personal situations and trying to put them on us. Y'all crazy. So at the end of the day, it's not me getting on YouTube for a, a check. The month is fucking over. <laughs> it's the end of the month. Whatever I done generated now, that's going to be checked out. Today what? The 29th, the 30th, whatever. It's over with. If I wanted to really do some shit, I would have did it in the beginning of the month. And dragged it. I'm a YouTuber. I'm a content creator. I know how the shit works. But I'm not going to feel like, oh, I shouldn't have did that. Or I feel bad for 
No, it's that's just this is Diwana. This is what the fuck you get when you watch D Laurie channel. That's just what you get. That's just what it is. You got people on here who who do all type of shit, be in polys and, and, and t table entanglements, all type of shit. I never once down the next person just to make myself look good. No, because I already know you could be just like that in that same situation. Everything that glitter ain't go. People don't know what happens when the camera is off. So it, it wasn't a big deal for me to get on here and say, well, this is reality, you guys. This is your what it is. I'm not ashamed at all. I'm not going to call my people that I don't talk to on a daily just to tell them me and low into it. The last time that happened, my phone didn't stop ringing. It's, did you go get the divorce papers? Did you, girl, you did it, girl. Like, come on, I, 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 I don't want to do that. So, I don't know. It is what it is. And I literally talk to y'all until my phone is on 1%. So, I started at 98%. So, it is what it is. I don't care about what none of y'all saying negative. Y'all done dragged me before. T channels, all type of shit. It's reality. I chose to put my life on here originally to uplift other people because I do encourage other people. But at the end of the day, I am... I am a person. I am a human. I bleed. My money green. Credit cards. I, I, the same thing you got, I got. Ain't nothing different. It's just I put. I chose to put my life on camera. Half of y'all won't even do the shit I do. Y'all not finna get on here and talk about it on camera. Because y'all got too much pride. It is what it is. But the fact of the matter is I was vulnerable to get on here. I could have been getting on here crying. Saying that he whooped my ass and I need some money. Because it be YouTubers who got pocket full of money get on here. But I ain't talking about them. I'm talking about me. Because I'm always worried about somebody else. No, I'm worried about Diwana. I didn't get on here and do that. I didn't say, oh, I need money for this. Can you cash app this? Put my cash app in there. I don't do that. Because I never looked at YouTube as, oh, I'm already having them subscribe. So let me go ahead and finesse them and, and they can pay me too on the side. That's that's selfish. That I I, I don't do that. But, I mean, it is what it is. I'm finna get ready and go find something else to do. And that's just what it is. Like, my phone finna shut off at any minute. Because, um, I'm on 1%, so it is what it is. But I'm definitely looking into a counselor. I started yesterday. I just asked my cousin, what's the difference? And that's just what it is. I'll try to eat something. And I'm going from there. Like, I'm not going to stress the situation out. I'm not going to disrespect him. I'm not going to overstep his boundaries. I'm going to respect him. And that's just what it is. Bunch of goofies on there.